boy Mario go the fuck crazy. You already know, man, it's going down again, man. It's Fat Nasty right. Podcast. I'm one half of the Belly Gang Boys. Let me put my belly on your butt, you heard? And we're in full effect tonight, y'all. We're having a good time, man. That's right. Before you do anything, make sure you go subscribe, click, follow, all that shit, man. Like, repost. You got to do all that. A little bit of all that. All that, man. It don't cost you nothing to do it, man. Yeah, it don't cost you nothing to show love. You know, a lot of people don't like to show love, but come on, man. You can't be going in the 2023 without showing love. Yeah, it's free. It's if you, free. you know what's crazy? If you don't like to show love, people really not fucking with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get canceled free. for not showing love. It's free. We got some dope shit going on tonight. It's Atlanta. You know, you, the new year about to kick <laughs> off. You could be anywhere else in the world on a Friday. But you fucking with Fat Nasty Podcast. We got some great women in here tonight. Great women. Entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. You know, all that shit. We just like to have so fun. So lovely You know what I'm saying? Day. So, like, before we do anything, we let everybody introduce themselves. Tell them your IG, what you got going on. Like talk your never, shit. You know, talk, talk your shit. Your shit. I'm talking about Sell we're yourself. We're going to start off with CC. We're going to let CC go first. <laughs> Cause she dope, and she and everybody in Atlanta need to know what's, what she got. Cece got on. good energy too, man. She I do. This is my dog, real West Side baby. <laughs> Talk this shit, Cece. Yeah. <laughs> but now, how y'all doing? My name is Cece. They call me Cece the Plug. Um, the name stands for it for itself. I own a plastic surgery recovery business in Miami. Also, I am the plug on anything that you may need. Oh, uh, there you go. There Simple. you go. Shh, don't tell look, when you hear the plug, you got to know. <laughs> yeah, you got to know the one. Yeah, if you got the plug on there, you better be the plug because niggas like me definitely taps in. Like, hold on. Hey, cop, hey. Let's see what you she got. She already know. Yeah, he know. She get it. She get it. So if man, I don't know, I'm gonna find it. So what made you come up with like what made you want to do like the um, recovery house and shit? So actually, um, I was always into the you know, hair and makeup industry. And then it just got to a point where, you know, I was in the clubs doing the hair and makeup. Mm -hmm. I always, everybody knew I was the hookup girl. Whatever you needed to get your ass, did your breasts, whatever. Right. So it just made sense. And I was around the girls was getting the ass shots and stuff like that. So I was mm -hmm. like, you know what, I'm going to go to Miami. Right. And I literally just packed up, went to Miami. I didn't move, but I was just, you know, there opening my business. And it right. just flourished. Like, when I went, they was like, who is this bitch with all the pink shit? Right. CC the plug. And right. I just, and it just, it just grew from there. Right. So, you just got to, so now you're just making money while you sleep in Miami. That's yeah. dope. That's dope. You ever thought about doing it up here? So, actually, I did have one here. Atlanta a little slow. They ain't doing slow? it. Yeah. It ain't like that. Really? Mm -mm. The money ain't even worth it. For With the houses? Nope. It's worse? Worse. I think I would think a lot of people forget their body. Because they all going to Miami to get right. That's but see, going. Miami's like a revolving door. It's like a liquor store. It's yeah. one on every corner. Yeah. Atlanta, oh, you got goals. You got my uh, me aesthetics. It's a few here and there. But Miami, literally every corner. So there's a there's a surgical center. Word. Oh mm -hmm. damn. That That's why they always be out there. What man? You ever been on an airplane coming back? <laughs> All you see is Can't pillows nobody, and covers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Laying on the floor. They try to lay on the floor. They try to get back. Man, nigga sore. All mm -hmm. that. With that same onesie outfit, the WWE shit, I call it. <laughs> <laughs> With that onesie motherfucker. That's hard, man. So, see, you tell them where you from, man. I'm from Atlanta. I'm from Bankhead, Bond City. Bankhead. Yeah. Original. Original. I am Bankhead. really from Atlanta. No outskirts. The so, real Atlanta. Yeah. Old Atlanta, New Atlanta. I'm a no Oh, I'm old Atlanta. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a North Side baby. Okay. Never went to the project. project. Oh, okay. There you go. I'm from the hood, but I'm from the neighborhood. Okay. <laughs> it's a difference. Yeah, it's, it's a, a difference. It's a difference. That's yeah. hard. That's hard. Mm -hmm. And she misses Blue Flame. If y'all don't know her, she yeah, yeah, been in the, yeah. she be in the flame chilling. Yeah. CCB, that she's was home. Coolest. That was home. That was still home is. Best. You know. Yeah. It still um, is. It still is. I mean, I've been going inside like what two years ago. Used to be a gambling house in the back. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah flame is definitely a legendary landmark. But that shit ain't never going to work. Yeah, truck hard. stop, man. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the truck yeah. stop, man. Definitely is. That's, 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 that's hard. That's hard. We got another beautiful lady with us tonight. Introduce yourself. Tell me your IG. What you got going on? Oh my God, I got a lot going on. My name is Lesia. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer the question right away. I'm from Russia, so oh, handle the yeah. accent. From yeah. Russia. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We fucking with you. We <laughs> not at you. <laughs> no, I'm I'm the good one. Okay. Yeah. okay. The good one. Okay. bad about Russians. No, no. Well, you know, there's some. Well, you know, they took Britney Grinder and shit. But we ain't gonna talk about that. She's back. She's back. She's, she's back. back. She's back. You gave up John Wick for Britney Grinder inside. Yo, sorry. Go ahead. Um, well, the things that I do, I do a bunch of things. I am in sales, mm -hmm. so I'm in a very, very corporate America. I work for mm -hmm. a fintech company out of the Bay Area, California. Okay. And um, also, so you work do, from home. Oh, I work from home, yeah. So I'm you, technically still paying taxes in California and doing everything in California. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. But, that's dope. You know, so you do a lot of stuff. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. <laughs> 
Don't worry, they won't see fat. I mean, listen, I'm paying taxes, so it's good. It's I'm, good. Yeah. I'm, I'm paying covered. them taxes, man. Yeah, they, 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 they let they you slide. Yeah. Well, I also do business consulting. Just it's it's a lot of um, a lot of stuff revolving around small businesses. Right. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's dope. So you like to be that lending hand, helping hand to bring them on up. Man. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not the plug, but I'm the plug. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> relationship <laughs> plug. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I know yeah. people. Definitely. I just, I don't know how. I just, you bring them to the plug. Right. You're definitely I, necessary. I, yeah, I am. Because like everybody that. can't meet the plug. So right. it's like, yeah, so you be the person where if it's right, mm-hmm. I bring you to the plug. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You ain't got to be the plug. I can be the socket. You know what I'm saying? That's all right. It works. So what type of um, small business do, like you have around here so far that you gonna help like build up? Oh my God, all kinds of. It just depends who you come across. Mm-hmm. But um, the sales that I do, like the company that I work for, I work with accountants. Mm-hmm. Oh man. It's tough. <laughs> it's very tough. Yeah, it's it's very. It's very like different and slow. Right. Um, but all kinds of businesses. Like it could be anything from like nail salons, body sculpting services mm-hmm. to. I don't know, like people who have social media and everything else. So mm-hmm. it's just, it really like varies from. You can fuck with us. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, listen, I already heard you. I already offered something from well, okay. someone oh, okay. as okay. far as the sponsorship offered. goes. It's so like, it's if like, it's, it's coming, like it's coming from me. You're in the right place. That's <laughs> why we need you. That's why, right. see? <laughs> Bring it on in. You hard. Right. That's hard. That's hard. Talk yeah. your shit. So that's dope. Russia ain't too bad. So we like to have fun, man. So I got to ask you. I'm going to ask you first. CC, are you petty? You got any pettiness in you? I can't be petty. Even though I don't like to play gl- play games, but I can't be petty. You, you petty. You can. petty. You petty. So you petty since you're dead. You petty. So, okay. <laughs> okay. My dude uh-huh. was like, you want to go to the Broadway concert? I'm like, yeah. He was like, okay, if your Chanel shoes come, we going, right? Right, right, right. The one that just was, passed? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this now, fresh petty. You, I want to see Broadway. This fresh petty. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I want to see Broadway, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I still got stuff at the house. Okay, the shoes didn't come. You still, I could still went to the concert. We don't go to the. I don't go to the concert with you. You still go to the concert. So I stole a video off somebody else's page who went to the concert, and I put, "Ooh, what a night!" I clipped. Oh, it. Yo, <laughs> you then, you that, is yeah, that, that is good. That is good. So now your mind one. And then you ain't answering calls. You ain't answering calls. Oh, because you thought you were gonna stay home with you that night. You were supposed to go. Now you wondering who I went to the concert with. Oh, you was everything in the world. He called his friends and like, yo. Yo, she playing with me, son. She so, picking the phone up. Oh, damn. You but you, you tried me. You asked me to go to the concert. And I wanted to see Rod Wave. Right. He was like, oh, we go to Lil Baby. I didn't see Lil Baby. You, he from the, I don't want to see him. I want to see Rod Wave. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Miss, I'm mad I miss Rod Wave. If you went to Lil Baby, you would have got to see Drake and Friends. Shout out to Drake, man. Drake is tough, man. But he is, but I didn't see, I didn't see that. So right, I right. wanted to see Rod Wave. Yeah, Rod Wave. So I was like, all right. Yeah. So then the next thing I did was I'm riding in the car with the window down, the little, the little horse and carriage rides by, right? Yeah. So I took a video, like I was like, oh my god, what a oh, night again! Man. And I tagged my homeboy from Chicago. Now mind oh, you, this see. man is in Chicago with a ankle monitor. Right. I was like, look, friend, I'm using you tonight. He's like, all right, cool. Now you think I'm out with this nigga, but I'm not. I was being petty. Yeah, you <laughs> petty. My feelings was hurt. Oh, you future little sister. Free man. man. What you got, man? I was hurt. You got your sister with us tonight, man. I was hurt. Yeah. He tried to play it cool, but you know. See, you, it's you always know. they try to play yeah, it cool. Yeah, they play it cool, but he, he was, he was he like, was damn, I'm just trying to see I know he was he hurt. Especially if, he, especially if he an IG nigga, like, watching your stories and shit. Definitely was not, watching. Even if not, the Definitely thing is, nigga watching. might not be, but one, niggas got everybody who be on IG, whether man or female. Got them select pages they know they go to every day. <laughs> they That's true. Check or click on one of them joints mm-hmm. they got to go see. Right. And one of them was her page was one of the ones he go check and he went to go see. And you at home and you what a night? Oh nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah, what a she night. Care about that. He checked that page probably thirty I'm, times. I'm making that night. TikToks my hunger in the kitchen, but you think I'm at Rod Way? I had a wonderful night. Oh <laughs> man. That's hey. petty. What about you? You got any pettiness in you? Oh man, I'm really petty, but it's like. It's just like if something doesn't go my way, mm, mm. What's like, I mean, oh, I don't even know if I can come up with examples. <laughs> oh, yeah, you petty. Listen, well, I've, I've, go been, deep into I've thought- been single for four years, so it's right. been a lot of petty things Shit. that I've done. Because if things don't go my way, that's just... Mm. 
You just get in your bag. You got to get back. Yeah, but you know, recently I did learn that men get really sensitive about things. Oh, yeah. Men yeah. 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 feel so much and so no, deep. Yeah, I know that. You can do one thing. I had no idea. Handle. They feel so much. Yeah. So I, deep I had, had no clue. Like huh? yeah. Men are sensitive. They yeah. the worst. I, listen, I know. Because you got to remember, you got to remember, we we have, we have ego trip a lot. Oh, my so God. It'd be more, it's the ego shit with us. Like, when yeah. Y'all, so that's just, that ego that make you, Yeah, it'd be like, that makes you sensitive. Like, shit that we do. That's why they always say men, women are stronger than men because y'all can take Definitely more shit than we can take. And the True. funny thing about that, I don't understand. Y'all take us through hell. But well, we do one thing. Oh, you can pack all oh, that yeah. shit. Y'all out you, the door, but y'all want to take 50, 50 staff. Y'all ain't us. We got to take 50 staff. And okay. then you're like, you know what? You deserve a, wing, or a ring. I know I do. I just stayed 50 times. You didn't come to see me. That's crazy. Test. No, no, no. I, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Everybody can say you went through all the games up on Mario. Keep the ring. Keep the ring. Keep the ring. I don't want it. No, but it's just that. It's. I mean... Women it's ain't a supposed to operate life. like dudes, though. Y'all yeah. not supposed to operate like Is this men. a double standard of life? I think, I think it's a right. double standard of life, but I feel like with social media, there's been so much that's going on. And also, yeah, I was just talking, actually, I was talking to my therapist about it. I was like, you know, reading all these dating books, it's just wild because you don't know. Oh, dang, you fucked up. It, it is, but it's not only Especially that, but like <laughs> reading <laughs> everything Atlanta, that. Atlanta, facade. It is facade, but also what's on social media, what's in the books. It's like people are just trying to sell stuff. And it's right. just like, where is the line of, how do you need to date and, like, you know, in the get reality? The it's, it's, don't it's, think it's about the internet. But even if you well, get you off the internet, there are certain things that you still need to do. Now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard. hard. Yeah, it's and, like, hard. Oh, dating apps, horrible. People saying, Ooh, like, you, you know, nowadays you can, you can scroll, you know, your dude can see 3,000 women at one time. Oh, yeah, versus when you, yeah. yeah, once yeah. you go to work, you know, you maybe see one or two, but now you got 30,000 women you can look at. It's just, it's temptation. Now your girl got 30,000 niggas she can look at. But that's temptation. But look, yeah, that's the same thing. That's why we live like, I ain't going to lie, your girl be living through the whole what's name. Like, she want to date like how they look on TV. But yeah, that ain't real. And They want some real shit, too. Y'all see how all the influencers keep getting in trouble. But, too, and the reality of that, too, is just like, okay, if a person sitting and can scroll all day and seeing this, it's because you really ain't got, not saying you don't got nothing going on but you may be just content in just your regular lifestyle not saying nobody because if you go and work a job cool understood right but it's like when you active and you got shit going on and you busy it's like you don't really find the time to really just all day be on the internet for that so you in different spaces and you meet people so it's like yo being somewhere to meet somebody but off the internet that dm sliding in it's like you ask for the trouble it's like anybody who's sliding in a dm Unless they person like yo, damn, I can't, I can't get a hold of this person. If somebody, I, let me reach out to do this. It's like, right. come on, man, you know what you signed up for. The Instagram link is like. But I ain't gonna say that. I feel like you could really meet some. Cool you can. I'm not there. saying you can. That's you what can. I said. You can. You can meet people. You could. And it depends on how you. But you meet, meet cool them. people in life. But when you get that, yeah, everybody don't be okay. Like, like it's the approach. Hey, yeah. Sliding DM saying I can't go all the way because then it's gonna be like yo, Rich, you bugging out. You going well, to get the call? Nah, come on. We are nasty. Like, yo, certain niggas, niggas slide in and say certain shit to you, and your DM, a woman, especially women, because a beautiful woman as yourselves, y'all are getting millions of DMs day to day, regardless if niggas are saying the same thing or not. But niggas slide in. I don't really? know about that. Not Honestly, really. my my IG is dry. Like I don't have yeah, that. Yeah, because you probably ain't doing no thirst. No, okay, I do not post. That, no, for the I girls don't. that walk around that's giving a nigga thirst trap, and then you get oh, mad. Of course, yeah. you're getting a negative. You getting a negative um, energy. Yeah. Like I think one girl, she was like, "Come make tea with me," but you in a whole thong. Like right, you so get that you, energy. So how many niggas you think don't want to come and make tea with you? Niggas at tea with the ones. Right. Man, I'm going to get some tea. I'm going to get you talking about. They gonna brew this shit together. Oh, this nigga disrespect. He disrespected me. He said, "Man, he thought you was on that." Right, you set yourself well, up for that. Yeah, that's a different story. You, but you know. we're close. Like women, and we on like, Instagram. Right, we still it's come like negative. women. Like women. Okay, y'all get mad about y'all. Like, oh, why I gotta go through this? Why are you going to the gym in a full motherfucking workout now? Like in an outfit, knowing you about to have me in this motherfucker turned up. All this, you get what I'm saying? So it's just yeah. like, what happened? Well, a lot of girls go to the gym to find a man. That's a thing. No, that's a. I don't trust training. I go to work out. I go to work out. Yeah, I go to work out. I don't care. I like, out. you would not see me with a makeup on. I would be like, yeah, that's my head up. Yeah, that's like, too much. I, I go to work out. Training, nigga. I know what the trainer is doing. He getting all my business. He ain't gonna throw that shit in my face. Mine, I'm a trainer. And, he, and he's stretching his leg yeah. out. Put it back up on. Hell no, he ain't stretching my ass out like that. We talking about some. He don't do you like this? Yeah, I am. I'm doing you just like this. He stretch you out tonight. Yeah, fuck that. And then they get all your business. When me and you get to an argument, he's sitting there talking about some, 
Oh, he did you like that. Nigga, you doing your bitch the same way. Don't talk to my bitch. <laughs> Leave my bitch alone. Fuck the training niggas. No disrespect to the training niggas. I fuck with some of y'all. But a lot of y'all niggas be on stupid bullshit. Yeah. All right? I'm cool on that, man. Why ain't gonna lie? When you get to the gym and you in a full black outfit with no drawers on, what you think a nigga in the gym gonna do? You fucking up the nigga workout. Nigga in there trying to pull First of down. all, nigga gonna work out in some old sweatpants and sweatsuits. Y'all come in there with the whole matching fit with the Nike print across the ass. Like, who ain't gonna be like, man, fuck the gym, man. Shit, That's I'm true. You know what I'm saying? That's nigga, true. Go up. nigga drop all the weight. So y'all so y'all ask for the attention, so y'all gonna get it. Like you just said. Hey, we wanna look good in the gym, too. If you do that. That's if you do that. But I'm yeah. a classy girl. Right. So exactly. I don't look for that. You know right. what I'm saying? I've always, yeah. Had a, yeah, I've always had an ass, right? Right. But so niggas would be like, oh, or touch my ass. That shit is offensive to me. Yeah, no, that's just But special. some you girls, you know what I'm saying? They all cool with it. I've always been offended to that. So yeah, the first nigga that touched me, I'm yeah. like, what, what's up? Yeah. Like, what you doing? Like, yeah. But my mind is like, what made you think you could touch me? What oh, did no. I give off? No, I'm no. fully clothed. What did I give off to make you feel like you could touch me? Yeah. I, I've never, no, I'm still no trying to understand that at 34. That's, that's no. I'm still trying to understand that. But it's people that do that. Yeah, no, that do go on. I'm fully clothed. Yeah. What made you feel like you could touch me? Can somebody answer that for me? What's your fully clothed though? What's your fully clothed? Like this, what I got on? I'm fully clothed. I ain't showing nothing. I gonna try. I mean. It, what setting we in? Because you got to remember, the set is like determining what setting we in. But it doesn't matter. What, it doesn't matter what setting I'm in. I don't know I don't you. Think Why are you touching it. me? That is corny. That's some corny shit. Okay. That's some corny shit. Okay. That's some corny shit. So when a, when a bitch slap you for, you know, going, grabbing her ass in the But club, now you mad if I slap you. Nah, but you touch me. He got to take the consequences. It's crazy. We, we live in a world that they open you, you can't get mad. You no, can't no, want to no, fight no, her or nothing. Don't touch me. I don't, I don't oh, like when people. Yeah, no. don't touch me. Like, it's cool if yeah. I know you and we in that vibe. Right. Cool. But if I don't know you, don't touch me. Oh, no, no, no. I feel you. I feel you. But like y'all yeah. said, though, y'all can't be on the internet. For the woman out there, don't be on IG talking about you making tea. <laughs> In your thumb. You know, your thought. Because niggas is, niggas is coming through. Niggas right. Coming through. You asking for it. But even if they do, though, the way that I interact with them, I'm just very honest. I'm like, right. listen, I'm not looking for anything temporary. If you want, you know, if you want something serious, sure, we can have a conversation. But right. I know where it's going. And so it's just so easy to cut it off. Right. So, like, you don't, I don't ever entertain it. Because it's like, I mean, see, point? that's the thing, too. You don't got to entertain me. Like, but but here's the thing. I like to look good. Like, you will see me no matter what. I'm going to look All like, right. I don't have any, like, clothes with holes. And, mm -hmm. like, I don't, I don't own that right. just because I don't feel comfortable in it mm -hmm. right, right, right. like mm -hmm. even if I you know something rips I'm like all right if it's not you know a thing like you know before it used to be like holes that used mm -hmm. to be a style right. if it's not the thing like I'm gonna throw it away oh okay yeah it's just, no wrong with that. just don't vibe just don't it, fuck with it it is like depends how much alone. you love yourself y'all yeah, you know? yeah, leave her alone man. You gotta fight. I ain't gonna lie. so what, how do y'all feel y'all like social media how you feel about it I love it though I love it because the way you can have your own narrative of social media uh -huh. and I've learned it that if you are yourself and mm. if you just you know express a lot of different things because like I talk about I mean my social media is it's nothing nothing crazy but I talk about like things that are actually happening or like some real deep things that right. I care for right. or like just my feelings and I get so much support from people I get so much love and like I, I don't have that many followers right. but I have a lot of interactions like there's just that's a good thing. There's so yeah. many things that happened. Like when I was going through my mental health stuff, right. it was social media that actually got me out of it mm. because people were supportive. Right, and, right. you know, it was like conversations about, hey, do you guys take medicine for depression? What do you do? Like anxiety, yeah. this and this and this. Mm -hmm. And like, and you hear stories and it's like not just a blurb. It's it's like a letter that people are sending you. And right, so right. I've met a lot of good people for social media. Right, right. right. So that's the pros. So, so that's the pros. Yeah, that's the pros. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. So what would be some pros for you? Business wise, great. Great, huh? I feel like it's your own little TV show yeah. for you to advertise, and you got to make it what you gonna make it. Yeah. Right, right, right. To me, Instagram is just fun. Like I, I may post something. It might be something you going through, but somebody gonna automatically think I'm going through it. Right. I just think it's funny, so I post it. Right, right. But it's just fun for me. I feel like everybody, like you said, a facade. Like it's fake. Right, right. It ain't right, right. real to me. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't use filters. I don't Photoshop my pictures. Right. There's no editing in my pictures because I am how I am. You're gonna see me in real life. You know how? Like, I I don't hide my hide nothing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if I have some fat on, like, I don't you care. I like literally it. call myself fluffy. I don't care. <laughs> right. Like, that's how I'm fluffy, gonna go. Like, like, fluffy. I like I'm literally that. like fluffy <laughs> back in the gym. You know, right. I like and I just I make fun of myself not because I don't love myself. It's just mm. because sometimes like someone I remember told me about my my double chin and I was like yo I know I know it's right here right, right here right, hey right. and I love it right. what can we do like it's just <laughs> it's it is what it is mm -hmm. so yeah but 
I think it does get addicted and sometimes like you do look at someone and just like you start catching yourself like, man, this is not real. Right. This is a bunch of filters mm -hmm. and like, listen, I'm all for plastic surgery. I love like all <laughs> right. that stuff. But as long as it looks natural, as long as it looks good and right. people yeah. don't go overboard because <clears throat> living in California, I met so many girls who are gorgeous but so insecure, right. like, mm -hmm. because they keep scrolling, they keep looking, they're like, I think oh, California, they, they go to the stream, they shoot their eyes and shit up, yeah. they right. chin, they lips. But it's like, like even natural Instagram. girls, it's like, you right. go to LA, and I'm like, I call, to me, it's like a place with lost souls, because there's so many beautiful people, but they're so lost, because right, they're right, just right. chasing all those dreams that mm -hmm. are so unrealistic, it's like, right. you only have yourself, like, right. love that's yourself. Mm -hmm. That's real. That's dope. That's, That's dope. What true. about you, bro? What's some of the pros and cons? I love the networking. I like social media for I don't get too caught up in what it what it is. Like, yo, yeah, you see some little funny shit or whatever, whatever, <laughs> but the networking, it's like it's a walk, it's a live advertisement. You can network with people who really people who really on their shit and mm -hmm. you tap and you can cipher between the bullshit. Oh, it's great. Cause it's like, right. yo, before you can like the people you can't reach, whether you reach out, whether they do read your message or they don't, it's still mm -hmm. an opportunity. I could really touch bases. I have access to this person. Whether they're gonna acknowledge it or not, I still have access to you. Right, your page right. is made public for me to message you. Like whether you read it or not, I still can do that. Versus being like, damn, I, I can't wait to run into this person. I don't gotta mm -hmm. run into you because one right. day you may just be sitting there, or if it's somebody working your page can see it, your message meant like, oh yo, look, boom, boom, boom. Before you know it, now you don't interact with somebody. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, it's right. not all about and and it, and it's all about how you care because they might see your message and look at your because that's first thing they doing they see something they don't know you now they're going to your page they go on your mm -hmm. page and you on nut shit or it's like oh i'm not you know what i'm saying my right. page is pretty much it ain't too much i ain't got 25 but it's like i get to the point whether my message is stating what i'm on this is what i'm trying to do I'm trying to network this is what we got going on so if they see it and they like oh mm -hmm. that's where a lot of my relationships come from they tap back in like yo you know what i check yo this shit is all right like mm -hmm. and the approach your approach be that's a big part of shit too how you approach somebody, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. fuck with social media a lot, like just off of the networking standpoint, because you can't run it, you don't got at, you can't just literally go outside. You can in Atlanta, you can. You can meet a lot of people, be mm -hmm. celebrities, but a lot of this shit be these celebrities, yeah, a lot of these celebrities <laughs> be on bullshit, but off the street. Nigga, Jesus like, fucked up two can. weeks ago. Now you acting yeah. like he the man again. Yeah. Like yeah. damn, yeah. nigga, trying to fuck with you. You was yeah, just fucked up. You wasn't even outside. But it be a lot of niggas like that too. Mm -hmm. But that's why I say that, that that be that facade shit mm -hmm. where everybody be acting like mm -hmm. they're more than what they is, and then mm -hmm. when you meet them niggas, it's like, oh, I. Right. Like, but I, I've noticed in Atlanta, men put on for men. Mm -hmm. That's what they do it for. Oh shit, nut ass nigga. It's, it's, it's <laughs> no more like I'm trying to get the woman's attention. They trying to get the man's attention, and I don't understand it. Like I had a, a situation with a family member. They're known. Mm -hmm. Call me, hey, I need to borrow two thousand. But you, damn near the man. I know you got plenty of partners you could call. Why you call me? Right, because he don't want to. He don't. He don't, don't want to look back to your people. Oh my god, that's so true. It happened to me. Mm -hmm. A guy who was forty years old asked me to pay <laughs> for his jacket, which was eight hundred fifty dollars. And I was like, as a forty year old man, you don't have eight hundred fifty dollars, or do you not have a friend that you can call? In my culture, like I called my mom and I was like, Mom, am I like out of Jumping. my mind? She's right. like, Well, did you pay for it? Because I was like, well, he was just almost crying there. So I was like, at this point, I was like, just swipe my card. Just give me the money back, you, whatever you can. Are you nice? Are you no, nice, I'm, very, nice. I'm, a very, I'm petty. Are you nice, nice? But I'm very, very nice. Because I also knew he's going to give me the money back. Yeah, oh, but okay. I'm just like, he just needs that, that moment. Or like, there's another situation that happened with me. I used to work out with a trainer who I paid him $400 to this day. I haven't seen my $400 back. But the guy drives a Range Rover, you know, like acts as Atlanta. if, like yeah. you know, sweets in Vegas well, and all that. You that. So you said a lot of niggas on social media put on for niggas. Yeah. That's wild. That's wild. And if you think about the club too, you go to the yeah. club. It's a section full of dudes, and it's if true. a female try to get in the section, it's a fight with her. Nah, I don't, I don't, that's I fucked up. Now we go out. I swear, I ain't gonna lie. That's fucked up. That's crazy. Because I ain't gonna lie. lie. When we go out, we go out. We have a we make movies, G. Like but everybody live, ain't like you. And guess what? Yeah. The niggas that I'm with go stand up and let the woman sit down and all that. So, now, I ain't gonna lie. I just went out the beginning that's of December, corny. Now, like, And was, I seen some men, like hood dudes. They was like, hey, you want to sit down? I was like, all right. They was like, hey, you get up. Like, let these girls sit down. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. But first I've of all, seen first of all, it, a lot of times you with your come niggas on anyway. Now. But if I'm with my niggas and it's a woman that want to come in the section, oh man, you gotta stand your ass up, my boy. Like, oh, these boys are letting them in. Like, bye, 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 and he holding the bottle like this. Wow. And he ain't paid nothing. No, he got the no, whole no, bottle. No, 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 no. Come on, let the girl get some drink. 
It's you ain't right. supposed to drink, man. Roll that one, roll that blunt, hey, man. Niggas like <laughs> smoke that and smoke that black and mild, my boy. Hey, niggas like that is miserable, bro. Niggas who, That's crazy. Whoever moving like that is just miserable and getting no pussy or just something going on. Cause it's like it's no way in the world you don't want no woman to enjoy themselves and you out there and you know you deep with niggas. You gotta be looking like, hold on, shorty coming through. Mm. We need that. Right. We need that. Oh no, you know no, what? It's been, that. it's been very I, different in our house. That's how I don't go out like that, I'm though. I don't go outside. outside. So, I'm outside. so my hangout, my hangout is strip clubs and I go to like little bars and shit. So like club, niggas, that shit niggas. is crazy. Like I'm not putting on for no other nigga. Like when we was going out, we were putting on because we wanted the females to be a, to see what like, oh, them niggas up there got they they got some motion. Not for no nigga to be looking at me like. He got some motion. Nah, cause, cause for one, he might I try to book me. I don't want him to be niggas, knowing that. Yeah, you don't fuck want that. I don't want no. You know what I'm saying? That's how I always thought about it. I never thought about it like as we you doing it. You, I mean, when you go out and have fun, you having fun with your people. That's why you know what I'm saying. But I'm so over that shit. Like I'm like I'm so over like going out on New Year's and going out for a nigga birthday and all that shit burnt up. So nah, we going out that. on my birthday. <laughs> I mean, I don't go out on my birthday no more. He not shit. I don't like, but if they gonna do something, I'll do it. But I don't do it no more. Cause we don't make movies. Like we don't. I don't have my homeboy. Like I don't have my homeboy son that was fourteen years old. We don't put him in Magic City. That shit was fun. My oh, mother's sixtieth yeah. birthday. We in Magic. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. Like we have like we ain't doing it for nobody else. We doing this shit to be like yeah. this yeah. experience. You know what I'm saying? So like. Like that's crazy that you say social media is like y'all niggas better stop being girls. They the new they already said we because niggas carry the little satchels and shit. Them like the new purses for niggas. Y'all better they get off that shit. They definitely are. <laughs> but I think are. I think well, it's know. been I actually had the conversation about I posted about this on Instagram yeah. a few days ago about um, if you know if I'm carrying something heavy would a man come and help me? A lot yeah. of times. Um, People would just, especially in California, guys would be like, oh, I'm sorry, no, 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 why, why should I carry anything? Like, no. When I was moving, I had 12 boxes of 75 pounds. Not even one man, except one Swedish guy who saw this. <laughs> he was like, let me help you. No one else, not even like at the apartment complex, no one else. I ain't gonna lie, I, used to, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's wild. That, that's that crazy. is just that crazy. Is fucked up. I ain't gonna lie, I used to, I used to get tired of that shit. Like, I always had trucks. So niggas used to always call me asking because I'm big. They used to be like, yeah. hey, big, shit, you got the truck over there? <laughs> so now it's just like, nah, my truck ain't for that shit. I had even when they got like a Camaro and shit because I used to help people move all the fucking time. But that's crazy that but somebody, so, yeah, but so the somebody point, randomly, that's different. Like, yeah. yo, how I was raised, that's just normal. Well, like, same. Yeah. I was, like, just, if I just see I'm a person, like, carrying something heavy, I would just go yeah. and help them yeah. out. It doesn't matter. Yeah, like, 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 I just would always ask. But so my point was that I think... I think that what happened is um, there's there became a narrative where women became so strong and so independent, mm -hmm. and they just start pushing like they just start pushing men so far away that now men are like, well, shit, like we can't even do anything anymore because you don't need it like again. me Say too. Again, movement. Women need to hear that though. Say it again. No, it is true. Like they need to stop pushing men away, and you know there's like a thing about feminine and masculine energy, and right. there's a reason why you know yeah. the energies yeah. have to match. And a lot of times, I think what happened over the last like five to ten years is that women became so masculine, and they just became so like we don't need men. We are so you know we're feminists. We're this. We're that. We're strong. And it's like sure, I understand where that's coming from, but right. there is a fine line. Yeah. And so men got start. They started so becoming they started really scared. Yeah, yeah they they, they backed out because they're like, what can we do now? Because they don't want us anymore. Right, right. So right. now like they're like, what? The only thing left is let's show off for another man because I mean, at this point, it's just a competition. <laughs> Who is better? I guess. I don't yeah. know. But I mean, I can understand that because you know some you know like some women do intimidate some men. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know what I do that for sure. See, that's what yeah. I'm saying because Absolutely. a nigga a nigga look at you and be like, damn, I, I like I'm feeling shorty, but mm -hmm. I don't know if I got the confidence to really run down on her. You know what I'm saying? But, but, you, but like me, I ain't like, like with women. Man, I ain't never fuck been all that. I got to shoot my shot. I'm but like, everybody huh? not like yeah. how some people be I'm like, like, like oh, Curry, she, bitch. If I can get this bitch up, if I can get it up, I got to shoot. If I get this bitch up, I got to shoot. That's oh, why I boy. always like I, I always say because like I ain't like because like I always do, like niggas that put on all this designer shit and all that that don't make you like nigga, no put me in the not. room with all y'all niggas I'm gonna do my thing I'm gonna, you shit. know what I'm saying me, but some people ain't. but how do you know that she's interested or like she's you know that you can actually approach her oh Does when she I give you when I look at you and you look back at me I'm gonna you shoot go my side. I got the feeling out I got the feeling we in the spot we in the spot we catch eyes but how long do you lock eyes for. 
Like, all right. One time, or she got me twice. Now, if I turn around and get a drink and she's still looking, oh, I got to go. Oh, okay. my boy. So it's two looks. So it's two looks. It's two looks. It's two looks. It's two looks. I call it the two time. Look, if I look at you, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to cool it. And then I come back and look again, and you still like, oh, this thing kind of fly. Oh, I got to go over there and do myself. You got to shoot me now. I got to get shot down. You know, it's crazy because I caught myself, if I like someone, I would never look at them. For real? I would just, I would look somewhere See? else. You would not what? find my, because, crazy. because. How many times you have, I, I would ask you a question. How many times have you ever ran down on a nigga that you like? Never. Ever. Seeing them and be like, you could have missed your blessing, see, girl. See, see, that's the thing. Uh, see, no, that's yeah, the I thing. Would see, never. That's what I'm going to get to. And I'm going to let y'all get back to your point. Is the fact of, okay, you see, the say y'all not making eye contact because you may like it, but don't make eye contact, right? That's stupid. Sometimes it don't be about if I, if I see something I like and I'm on, yeah. I'm, going, I'm, going, I I'm going to see I what I If I see something and I see it, I don't give a fuck if you look down. If, if you with somebody that's different. All right, cool. But even if you with someone, I might give you a look like, all right. Yeah. Me, 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 the bomb. Yeah. But there, yeah. there'll be times. I ain't gonna lie, I got to try. There's some bad lights. I like. see what's going on. Man, when, when I, I, I like something, I'm like, man, I'm pit bullish. Because then all you gonna do when you leave, talk to you, man, like, yo, you seen it? sure like, yo, yeah. like, you ain't seen? Nah. nah. <laughs> you ain't never gonna see her again. I don't never let that happen to me. See, I that happens happen. to me so much when nah, people, like, walk up to me. They're like, oh. I've seen you somewhere. Yeah. I like I met you there and I was like, I've never seen you before. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm a very detail oriented person. Like I can see people. I know I notice them, but sometimes I'm like, oh my God, I have I would never notice yes, you yeah. if you did not walk up to me. Oh, right <laughs> but if I do y'all mean tell me y'all mean tell me y'all have never ran out you never ran out on a man. Oh, like, hell no. You know, I come from a culture crazy. where y'all missing y'all. Men blessings, have to man. approach. Y'all better you, you have, have to text me. Y'all wanna be niggas, man. What's that shit? What's that key shit? Well, most definite video. Oh, uh, what's the shit called? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 what is that? When she uh, said, yeah, I don't usually do this, but you always play uh, with your cufflinks. You don't know my name. You don't, you don't know, know my name. Yeah. I know females <laughs> don't usually do this, but yeah. I think you got to fly. Yeah. Was, what's up? <laughs> but, I okay, can I hit up a guy on Instagram? Absolutely. See, it's, see, I will, I will, oh, like, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just DM the, the see, side Instagram? eyes. That's it. Oh, oh that's good. That's your move. There you go. So you said you have ran down. That's your move. But the thing is, yeah, I ain't doing the Instagram either. You gotta holler at me. Yo, that's sly. So hold on, man. Nah, time out, time out. But you don't see anything that you like, CC, and just be like. Now it's just a chase thing. If for I me, see I'm I like, I'm getting I'm super Damn, cool. Crazy. Like, people who know me, I'm super cool with a lot of guys. You right. know that. I'm, I'm right. cool with a lot of guys. But I'm not gonna be like I like that? you. I want to ask you that. How do niggas take that? Like, somebody you in a relationship with that? Because I know that can hurt some niggas' pride. Like, you, all your friends is niggas. Like, how, how do niggas It think actually that? does, but I don't try to, like, if you're my dude, I want to make sure you're comfortable. So I'm not going to be introducing you to nobody I didn't slept with or no, no shit like that. Right, right. But my friends are going to become your friends. Boy, and that has is, happened. Yeah. Like, my friends, you call them up, y'all talk stuff, yeah. you know, we all out, and that's what it is. I've just always been more comfortable and cool with dudes versus females. Mm -hmm. There's always been some jealousy or some sideline shit, and I don't right. have time for it. With right. my niggas, we get money. It is what it is. You pull up, mom, dudes cook, and it's just what it is. Right, 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 so it's right. a difference. I don't know. But I can take it if he got a female but friend. But your dude, your dude got to be, and, and, and when it comes to, if you dealing with a dude who who gonna accept that he has to know because yeah. if this your energy and this your body then he got to know like hold on she cool as she, she gotta have dude friends right like this too, too cool. cool but like i tell she, everybody if, yeah, if so i talk like, to you hey listen i'm telling you in the beginning yeah. i got nigga friends mm -hmm. male mm -hmm. friends excuse my language you know i have male yeah. friends mm -hmm. and i tell them straight up that's your your, your opportunity to say if you could deal with it or not yeah. because my male friends have been my friends for years yeah. right. i'm not that's cutting them off but if you yeah. come to me you be like bad i think uh if your friend like me i'm gonna respect it i'm gonna do a little investigation and be like all right okay, okay cool i ain't gonna lie I, always, I ain't doing it i just always i ain't know growing up i used to tell these niggas like, i had a home girl that was like my sister they used to always be like nah niggas because you got to remember like as a man, a man think like this, like, man, if y'all niggas ever get, if you ever shot your shot, like, if you, you can ever get gave him something, he'll, he'll go for it. He'll go for it. Definitely. So that's why all men always be like, that's why I think some men be kind of stand off when they, you know, when they girls got too many, you know yeah. what I'm saying, nigga friends, they be like, yeah, that nigga ain't your, like, I used to hate this growing up, girl, like, oh, that's just my brother, bitch, that's not your brother. <laughs> No, everybody ain't your brother. Everybody ain't your brother. Everybody ain't your brother. If you brother. Brother. Yeah. want to give him some of that pussy, he gonna take he it. He gonna take it. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So he is not your and brother. Marinated. Yeah, yeah. what I'm saying? So crazy. He gonna be like, red yeah, shirt the shit out of you. You don't know my. You see me giving you all the advice and everything. So that's, that's why I always true. say. So like, it takes a strong nigga to do that shit. You it know does. What I'm saying? It does. It takes a strong person. Yeah, it takes a strong. Yeah, but you have to be very confident because I'm also I'm the same way. I don't really have. I have two girlfriends. That's it. Everyone else is a guy friend, and but I'm I'm very different. I'm a very like. 
straightforward person so girls get really offended with the things that i say because right. i would i would keep it real i'm not gonna if, if i don't like her shirt i'm gonna be i'm sorry i don't like your shirt right mm -hmm. and i would tell how it is and like my best friend she laughs because she's like oh my god you're so funny right. but a lot of girls would be like oh my god this is so offensive and that's i mean it is <laughs> what it is it is the truth, it yeah. is the truth right. and i'm right. sorry like if you Tell can't deal with the truth that dress don't look like cute on you frank i'll change but it. i think yeah. that there is i don't know for me y'all gotta start doing that too <laughs> niggas too it's all letting your homeboy know when he's going out looking butt, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And your homegirl. So I let your homegirl go out with that two little ass outfit. But I'm going to be honest. You know, she a, a, tw a 16. She's trying to wear some seven shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's I had a friend. Her yeah. birthday. My mom was like, you know you dead ass wrong for letting her come out. I said, mama, look. What can I tell her? You, you have those it. friends, they feel like their confidence is up to the roof. Yeah. You can't tell them. Yeah. You just got to let them be them. Yeah. You got to tell them, though, sometimes. And sometimes well, I don't want my niggas to let me know, like, hey, boy, that ain't the one. But if you feel like but you fly as hell, yeah. you ain't trying to hear <laughs> yeah. him. There's a fine that's line. The yeah. So you sometimes with a person who's confident, I'm saying, feel like that's fly, and like you just put it on a move, you really feel like you good, I ain't knocking you. Like, right. yo, you got the confidence. You ain't in here with your shit looking crazy, and you still well, so I came in here with the tight tights. And like the big ass boots and shit, you ain't gonna be like, hey, yeah, no, but I know you, yeah, okay. so I'm like, yo, buzzing, right. come on, son, that, that ain't it, right. Right. Gang, gang, come on. But hey, you gotta go with you someone too. who has the same style as you, though, because yeah. if like if I'm talking to someone who doesn't wear leather, they would be like, oh my god, no, this is not it, and I'd be like, I, I don't care because this is what I'm wearing. Right, right, right. And so if someone is on my yeah, exactly. page on my level of like street right, style I think and everything else, girls, you know. I mean, yeah, no, they don't always work like that. They don't. No, nah. Some yeah. girls would be like, they confidence would tell you. Is a motherfucker, though, <laughs> man. Because you can see I love that shit. Yeah. You got confidence. You yeah. got that confidence shit. Confidence to get you what you yeah. want. Like you could be the weakest, isn't it? But your confidence, your conversation, yeah. Yeah. and who you are going to talk to and get whatever you want. And yeah. niggas be wondering like, how? Because mm -hmm. once you go to talking and your confidence, they ain't even seeing what you had on no yeah. more. Like they made yeah. a thought and be like, and then they gonna talk about it later. Like yo. You cool as a bitch, but bro, you bogus. <laughs> yeah, that like that shit you had yeah. on that night, I wasn't jacking it, but yeah. yo, you cool as yeah, shit, and right. I know it's way around that. Yeah, Cause yeah. the conversation, once you could get that, a lock in. That oh, that real. shit go out the window. There's real. room for shit like that. Appearance is yeah. all. That's the easiest shit. To it's the yeah. easiest thing. Appearance that's true. Appearance is the easiest shit to work right. on mm -hmm. and do. But you gotta be able to talk to them all. Cause motherfucker be fly as shit, but can't have, hold a two minute conversation with that's you. Right. But, but you know what though. I gotta take that back because some niggas think they fly because they put on all the designer shit. That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, yeah. Oof. That's, what I'm that's saying. another that's, that's a whole saying. conversation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like but your clothes, your clothes it's don't a couple make niggas, you. That's what I'm saying. There's a couple your niggas I be seeing that's you. like in the industry and shit. I really want to let them know, man. You need to get you a stylist or something, my boy. Cause yeah. You put on all Some that shit. Too, that shit don't, don't do it. It so ain't man, doing niggas, it for you. Niggas using their money to bag joints. Like, yo, and it's so crazy. I'm glad. Like, I'm comfortable in my space where I'm right. at. Like, yo, I'm cool. Right. Because my finance is cool. But I still could go talk to anybody I feel I need to talk exactly. to. Right. And be cool. Like, right. I ain't got to have that. And it can do that. So when that coming, I'm at that level. I ain't got to use this to do that. Niggas is really using money, jewelry, cars to bag women. And little, the, what's the um, little dude named Lil Pony said, yo, 2023, jewelry is not a flex no more, gang. Yeah. We need assets out there. You got to have <laughs> right. real shit. Right. You niggas come up with jewelry. That shit is too, and they got the, the bullshit. Bang, where bang. You, yeah, no, where the bang, bang passed the tester. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they got all that. Bang, bang, yeah. so it's like, mm -hmm. oh, man, man, I told what? you, man, if you buying jewelry, man, your diamonds ain't got no paperwork to it, man. I, 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 it's not it. ain't it. the one. Not it's gonna not it. Do. You better have some paperwork. I mean, yes, documents. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Alligator. Yeah, for real. So what, but we ask people this too, so I got to ask you, CC, when, what's your mental state from a 1 to 10? Can't Can use, use seven. 7. That's a safe zone. <laughs> Can't use, use 7. seven. seven My yeah. mental state? Yeah, yeah how you feel? Like, uh, like, what aspect, though? Like, like how, how you, you feeling, feeling overall? Like, you know, you're an entrepreneur, so a lot of people going to ask you how you feeling. How you doing? A lot of times they just call and ask you, can they get something? I would say I'm at an 8 right now, honestly. Elaborate. Tell us, like, what's the Only because I'm going through a situation with, you know, uh, a love situation and then a, a business situation. So see, Rod Wave like, fucked your shit up. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. No, that no, no. This, this, this is for Rod Wave. This is for Rod Wave. So I think, um, and that was one of my issues. Like, I'm big on like minor things. Right. Like, I don't care about the money and stuff, but ask me how my day doing. You know, mm -hmm. how my day is going. Ask me, you know, how do I feel such since such and such has happened? Or right. ask me how I ate today. You know, things like that that matters to me. And then you have a you with a person that, that doesn't matter to them and they're just materialistic. It's kind of like a messed up situation. So it's like, damn, do you care about the real stuff or the facade? You right. care about Instagram or you really care what's going on with me? Right. So that's, I'm at an eight. Mm. Nigga, yeah, niggas got to get off that trophy shit. I'm at an eight. Yeah, you got to call it, get the inner side, like. You know what I'm saying? Ask people how they feel. Or just listen. Yeah. 
Yeah. So sometimes she ain't gonna ask. She gonna say things and just hope you grab to like, dang, oh, I'm hungry. That's yeah, like we just had this conversation her, on the couch. My body hurt yeah, or yeah. something. This, oh, yo, go get a massage. Yeah, go, oh, I'm about this. to do this. Okay, yeah. let me get this for you. To then like, oh, damn, he was listening to me. Mm -hmm. Right. They don't take it. I, th I feel like I've, I put on Instagram. I've done things. I've said. I'm just to the point like I'm over it. Like I'm done. Mm -hmm. And that's what's crazy. When that's 2023, why she, man. Shout out to Kels. Mm -hmm. I know they feel how they feel. When a woman's fed up, man. When a woman's fed up, boy, ain't nothing it's you fed can up. do. La 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 But you can only do so much. <laughs> like there is so much. a point where you have to walk away. <laughs> yeah. Oh la la. Man, my sister was just talking about this. She you was like, I feel out. like you're holding on. <laughs> I was like, you're right, because I have like my story is is crazy. I was dating somebody who did 14 years in prison. Mm. Oh, he he too Damn. smart. So he did fourteen. He's smart as a bitch. I'm right. trying to tell y'all, but y'all better stop sitting on these jail these fourteen years. They don't have all type of progress with this nigga. He working as one. Not just no disrespect. Come on, man. Shout out to my son. Shout out to my boy. He definitely want to get some money. He like get some money. Yeah, man. Get some money. He got the loops. He got all this shit to a T. <laughs> Man, listen, like man, you better get in with his program. He got a program when he get home. No, got, it's not yeah. even that. It's like the mentality ain't there. <laughs> right. The mentality not there. Okay. You got to think, you okay. when we was like 19, 20, maybe 21, you 35. We ain't on the same page, nah, so nah, now you came out, right? Yeah. So it's like I'm mature in, in a lot of in a lot of different ways. So it's like now we kind of you know we ain't seeing eye to eye. 19 to, 19 to 35, he trying to catch them years. Right, right, back. He, right. Want the, he want everything back in one whack. Mm -hmm. And it ain't like that. Hey, why do all jail niggas think this shit gonna be like pay the full? <laughs> you can't you come home to tour for thousands. But you can't home for you can't home for full business. So I set you up straight. You can't home seven hundred something credit score. You got six rental cars. Oh, yeah, you 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 love, set up you, straight. You love you. But oh, I don't yeah. ask for a lot, so I'm just in that, that mindset. That's I'm just right. like, you know, it is what it is. People to love you. Like you, you said, how much like, can you take? But everything is so fast too. It's like, I mean, 2022. With with like things are going like no, at but you know, you crazy know, speed right you know, now. No, people think people, but people think shit happened in one day. It doesn't. So no. like, just because you just did 14 years, don't first of all, don't nobody owe you shit. So for somebody to set you up and do some shit for you, you gotta take that oh, into yeah. consideration. Cause I bet during them 14 years, there was motherfuckers that you was calling that was like, all right, boy, I'm gonna fuck with you in a couple days. And they ain't call you no times. They ain't drop mm -hmm. that money on that JPay or none of that. Right. Like, I got JPay. niggas that I know that I'll tell you, like, nigga, I say my last every month. You get what I'm saying? To my little brother and shit like that. And my niggas that I fuck with. But it's, y'all gotta remember, it's certain niggas that you call when, when you was real fucked up. So if somebody look out for you when you come home, but take that shit into consideration. But that should be so hard for them because they be. Mm -hmm. Maybe feel like everybody did them so wrong. You feel me? And he's trying to catch up to like you said. Up. He's trying to catch up. Hell yeah! I don't think his up. I don't think his thing is doing the wrong. It's just they're the trying to catch up and be on the scene. You know what I'm saying? Be the fly you person. Adapt the reality. Yeah, it's it's Man, a lot. Hey, people. but I was being honest. I was like, look, when you come home, let's just be cool. Yeah. You know. That's how. We ain't gonna say it. Good. But look, that but shit look. sounds good. See, see, see. I'm gonna tell you. Look, so from yeah, a man perspective, that, man. I'm fucking forcing you the only one who I know who's and you a loyal female. Right. So now I know that with you. It's pure and genuine. Now I come and it's like, that's a lot to process. Like, damn, I come and then you talking about now nah, you falling back. Like, hold yeah, on. Nigga, that. nigga, talking that's about, like, another nigga, one of them homeboys. Yeah. He probably like, man, she hang around all these niggas. Yeah, she but, but that's back. crazy. We had, a, we had a situation that kind of threw a loop in a relationship, too. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. That's mm -hmm. an old other day. That's an old other day. We ain't even going to talk about <laughs> that. We have, we have to do that. We ain't going to talk. Yeah, we ain't going yeah. to do that. Saying? What about you, man? What's your mental state for more than 10? Oh, man. You know, 2022, I'm happy to say I'm. Probably at a full 10. Okay. It has you. been a crazy year because the year started off very rough with the whole war and it's just like me going through a lot mentally and like right, kind you of. Still got family over there and stuff, well, right? my family is there, but it's also like you got to understand it's like you know something for a certain amount of years and all of a sudden just things just just shatter and so you have to recreate yourself and like who are you what is your identity like what do you like what do you want because you grew up knowing that russia is this and that and then all of a sudden it's just not it's it's just not because right. people who were brothers are now fighting and it's like people are dying and and there's just so much you know there's it, it was a really crazy time for me because right. it's also you know like going through the fact that family is there how do you get out of you know how do you get them out of there because mm -hmm. i'm here they're there so mm -hmm. i got lucky and it's just a lot of blame for doing this and that so i actually took time I, I went to maui for a week and i just sat on the beach and i was like what do i want mm -hmm. who am i what am i doing with my life and so that's when i was like you know what i'm gonna pack my bags and i'm gonna move mm -hmm. where do i move and then atlanta was just one of those spots that like I kept going to Atlanta and I just felt so happy here. Mm -hmm. So You're when I'm, I know, thank you. You're the third person today who said that. <laughs> so I appreciate that. But um, 
Yeah, moving here, it was the first thing that I did for myself. Yeah, it only wasn't thing Atlanta is a beach. This it's, motherfucker had yeah, a beach exactly. If Atlanta had a beach, it would be the best like, city like in the world. Downtown Turner Field is like a motherfucking <laughs> beach. Like, you know, when you cross over the South Beach and right, you cross over, uh, right. and that was just your beach, you would be like, man, what yeah. the fuck, yeah, man? Be living. Yeah, yeah that's but, the only thing. If that didn't get this a beach, then this bitch would have been the Mecca. Yeah. It would have been too it's, hard. It's yeah. just like, there is a point where I was like, okay, let me go and do something that's for me. It wasn't right. because I went to school in California. It wasn't because of circumstances. It was things that I was doing for myself. Right, right, and so to this day, and, I, and I've learned how to deal with stress. I've learned how to deal with different circumstances. And now I'm just like, today I was sitting on my couch and I was like, man, there's nothing that I cannot fix. I can literally fix whatever comes my way. Sure, that's I'll cry. I will be upset. I will be happy, whatever. I'll go through millions of emotions because I'm like a firework. Right. So. But at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm just so happy and grateful to be where I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thankful for everything that happened, like as shitty as the events that happened over the last year were and still are. Mm -hmm. Like to me, it was a blessing. And yeah, like there's just a lot of things that I had to process. But then it's like, I was like, you know what? Like my friend always says, he's like, get comfortable being uncomfortable. And so for me being uncomfortable, I'm like, I moved here knowing no one. Like, right. I had to start from a scratch. Mm -hmm. Now, I can tell you, I know a lot of people in Atlanta. If something mm -hmm. happens, I always got someone <laughs> to call. To call. Right, and, right. and, like, we might not be best friends, but, and people can call me because I got them. Like, yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm just that person. Like, whatever happens, call me. Mm -hmm. I will find a way, even if we're not, like, the closest people. It's just, it is what it is. And so now I'm like, man, I'm happy. Right, <laughs> I'm that's really dope. happy. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. What that's about you, my boy? What's your mental state? Um, um, I'm going to stay one through a 10, 10, 10 I would say I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, word. Because um, I would run through saying G shit, yo, and to keep it all the way a buck, a part of my 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 happiness, because I was in a space, like a lot been going on, for real. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, like. Yeah, that shit been like a movie. Yeah, my shit definitely <laughs> been like a movie, for real. Right. You heard? So my, my shit been off, but. Um, a part of what put me at where I'm at, cause I'm a t I'm on a ten today. Like mm -hmm. we had to speak on this moment, definitely on a ten. And part of that ten, CC. I talked to CC two days. Um, I don't know if it's two days. Was it? Was it yesterday? Yesterday. Or was it, yeah. Okay. Yesterday. yesterday. And, and we caught the humbug, cause this is humbug. No, it's crazy. Like, this Melvin had called me like, so yo, I'm like, about to get CC. So it's <laughs> like, yo, the call and just I call her like, yo, we talking, boom. Before I call, I get me and Mel, we talk, boom, boom, boom. Then he, um, I'm like, all right, I'm about to call her, cause I'm moving around. I'm like, man, I can't even call her right now, bro. Just tell her to text me. Da da da. We, I end up staying on the phone with that nigga for like an hour talking. I'm like, damn, bro. I'm, I'm do still you moving, bro, and you still just talking to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yo. I swear to God, that's so shout out like, to Melvin, man. Yeah, Melvin, yeah, that's my best friend. That's my I love nigga, him. son. Yeah, so I'm like, hey, yo. That's my nigga. I'm like, yo, Mel, son, listen. He like, yo, call her. Call her. I said, bro, I'm about to call her right now, bro. Like, yo, get off my phone. <laughs> so then I call her and her, her just the approach. You know how sometimes. People in some, they don't have yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you're in it. When you feel the energy, you could call yeah. somebody in the energy, you feel reciprocated, just like, damn, hold mm. on. I call already, you know, my shit been a movie in the past week, my shit been different. What a CC. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> Do you so love I me? call, <laughs> and then, yo, you a funny <laughs> nigga, son. So, yo, son, I call, and then her energy was just like, the, I told her soon, I'm like, yo, G shit. I'm like, yo, your energy just brought me into this space. Like, yo, I don't even know if you know about what's going on or know who I am calling, but damn, you just brought me to where I'm at. Right. So we talk, we lock it in that day. You know, usually when you lock in with whomever is boom, then she follow up the day and then we talk. She like, yo, you got me feeling like, yo, I'm going on Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> and that <laughs> Oprah shit, too, I'm like, damn. <laughs> She just I ain't like we to Oprah. I said, yo, she just compared us to Don't Oprah. Sit on the couch, man. I said, yo, sub, we sit better than couch, Oprah. Man. I said, yo, boom, and just the way, just because it's like, she was really embracing the fact that, like, yo, I don't know, but I just feel good to right. come and be a part of what y'all got going mm -hmm. on. Right. It's like, That's you don't awesome. even know as much as what we doing. Where it's like, yo, you know what, Rich? You worry about all this other shit, but you got shit going on. Like, right. shit could be crazy, but you moving. And yeah. somebody excited to come and be a part of what you doing, don't know right. it. You from a can of paint. Mm -hmm. right. Regardless of the network, uh, the connection, mm -hmm. it still was energy felt. Like, yeah, it was Melvin placed it, but you know, you could talk, even if somebody plays, put me in tune with you, if I talk, it don't you feel right, like, I'd be like, like, I, I ain't feeling that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's mm -hmm. why, I, that's why it'd be so crazy like, Yo. with the podcast shit, because you know, like, with the podcast shit, like, niggas be like, oh, you need the celebrity, nigga, you need this, you need that. I need the nigga that's gonna fuck with me. 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I need somebody that's going to fuck with my, what mm-hmm. I got going on because everybody don't fuck with you like how you fuck with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you mm-hmm. know that. Like you mm-hmm. said, it's so crazy that you said that like niggas be putting on for other niggas because that's how niggas do. Mm-hmm. Niggas want, niggas so scared to be, t- to show, like this is my nigga. So like, when we, like we really can sit, he got somebody I could go for like and tell him and be like, he's like, boy, you wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn. He ain't going to be just like, Damn, mate, like you was, you know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna, well, ain't no yes tongue, man. you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? He gonna be like, no, yes, man. Nigga, you was wrong. Right. Like, I heard the whole story because you could have handled that a different way. Right. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So, sometimes niggas need that. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, the end of the year, just the whole end of the year, the shit mm-hmm. was, I ain't gonna lie. I've been on like a six, a five, just on some other shit, just because, just, just life. Life is real. Like, mm-hmm. everybody shit be different, but nigga, you still got everyday life, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie, my family and shit, like, just to see my daughter smile and shit, she don't be know what the fuck going on and shit like that. It be like, damn, that should keep me on like a 10, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Then to do this, like, we, you know what I'm saying? To do this and have people come on the show and, like, you know what I'm saying? We be winging this shit and this shit be yeah, coming this together. Was, this mm-hmm. is you know what I'm saying? Humbug and it's gonna be one of them fire yeah, ones. Yeah, it's one of them Cause ones. we vibing, you get what I'm saying? It's always a vibe, so you know what I'm saying? So Word that should have put you on the team, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to hear. That motherfuckers do got, like, we all got life experiences. You know what I'm saying? You just said some shit about it. It wasn't even about you. You just said some shit about your whole country. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? That shit, we, and we in the United States, we've been so gifted. That shit ain't never happened over here. We, right. We, we be blowing that shit off. That's like when COVID hit, niggas was like, oh, boy, your cousin really got that shit? Because it's like, <laughs> a nigga close got that shit, boy? So you know they, you know they be having all type of shit going over here. Niggas like, man, that shit ain't real. Right. Somebody in your family got to get that shit, but that shit can be real. <laughs> and then a nigga be like, oh, boy, that's it, but your cousin got that shit? You know what I'm saying? So like, then he was in the house, he almost, he's like, died. He almost died. He don't believe that. You're like, don't what? Oh, right. man, we living in them times. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? So for like, so that's what I said, like, man, Niggas take life for granted. Well, I'd be so happy every day. I just be like, boy, I'm happy I made it home. Right. I'm happy I left this bitch. Right. All that. Because I woke up. I'm 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 happy. Right. I woke up yeah. and I you made it to another like day. You laugh and crack a joke yeah. or some shit. You like you look up in the sun and you're like literally it's simple things because you know I've gone through some deep things with my mental health and there was a day when I looked up in the sky and I was like, man, the sky is blue and I'm thankful. Right. And I'm yeah. thankful. And that's even dope for you to talk about that, like, cause like people be like. Mental health is a real thing. It is a real right. thing. But, but people are so just caught up in this materialistic things, and it's like, man, strip that all off. Who are you? Right. Take yeah. all the jewelry. Take all the clothes off. You are just naked. You. Who are you? What can you do? Makeup off. Everything off. Who are you? What can you do? Right. What do can you, you survive this shit? Yeah. Can you do this shit? And it's like, let's not have a conversation. What do you bring to the table? What is your energy? What are you about? Let's take the jobs away, everything. Right. What can you do? Can you have a conversation? Can mm-hmm. you be with people? Mm-hmm. Can you be a human at the end of the day? Right, right, right. And so I think that's what really, really matters. Yeah, yeah. Right. And it's dope, like, because just to see, like, I think I see some shit the other day. I was telling him in the house, they was like mental health, and it was mad people. It was this girl crying. It was like, you think she the one that's depressed, right? And then it's like all these celebrities that smiling that just killed right. themselves. Right, yeah. Depre- you know what I'm saying? Because y- y'all got to remember, man, people don't know how to go talk to people. Mm-hmm. Like, even with men, like, we just mm-hmm. learning how to really talk to people and let people know, like, what we got going on because we feel like we're going to get judged, ego. You have right? to be and strong, you know? You can't share your emotions. You can't share your feelings. Even in our culture, it was like, you couldn't yeah. talk to nobody. What, what you mean you going through something? Like, nah. Yeah. It, we brushed it off. Right. Mm-hmm. But, you know, in other cultures, they actually sit down and talk to people. Right. So it's kind of hard. But I feel like when you talk, sometimes it just helps to get that off your shoulders. That's like, why, it, like, back in the lips. days, why, when shit happened to women, they held that shit in. Because when yeah. you want to tell your mom, like, something happened to you, people, she was like, yeah. oh, that shit ain't happening. Get the right. fuck around here. Right. So now right. we live in that. Don't we, cry. Yeah, don't, don't do cry. this. Like, and it's like, nah, nigga, that's some real shit. Her uncle just touched her. That's right. fucked yeah, up. Like, yeah, right. You need to talk to your daughter. And it's like, yeah. no, 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 no. We ain't going to let that get out because we're going to keep this shit in our family. I have nah. issues like that with my family. We have a secret. And it was just like, damn, I'm to the point. I'm like. Hey, somebody need to say something. Like, and it's like we don't say yeah. nothing. That's, they don't say nothing. They it's think a that, secret. And they think that shit. And they think that shit is normal. It's not healthy. normal. It's not normal. Because now you grow up, you're an adult, and you still in that mentality. So it, it's right. Not and everybody healthy. like, oh, why she come to the cookout mad? Nigga, she still mad because y'all let yeah. Uncle Wilson yeah. yeah. touch her, yeah. and y'all yeah. still let this nigga come around yeah. and, and still have the cookout. And he playing with little Nikki over there. Now he playing with her daughter, and she got that same shit thinking like, man, he might do it again. You get what I'm saying? So like, the part that people grow up thinking that it's okay because. When you had your family and you do what you do and something happened, 
Now you all stuck in like, oh, you got to keep this in family. Or you saying, it must have been something you did. Yeah, Yeah. I'm a fucking child. How I do something? It's crazy. The mentality be like that. That's what I'm saying. So like all those like movies, that's people real lives, you know, that people went through. Or imitate life. I said like, that's why we ask people about their mental shit because, man, motherfuckers be going through shit. Mm -hmm. We can get on this motherfucker and act like life is good. Life is like, but motherfuckers got real shit. Nigga, you think you supposed to be going through some shit with somebody that you love and care about? Yeah. Y'all on different places. Y'all got business together and all that shit. That's a lot of shit. That's pulling you in both ways. And that's the craziest thing. I always, like, the thing is, I've learned in life that I could never judge anyone's relationship because I'm not in it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Right. And yeah. I, I sure will never say, it. hey, you need to break up with him. Right. Mm-hmm. No, I will say, hey, there is a point when you need to walk away, but only you know when that's the that's point true. comes. That's true. See, because see, that's and that's shit. a valuable you point you that's said. True. Yeah, and we just talked about it on a... Like, I don't know if it was the last episode or the episode before. It's like, yo, I got people who, I got a lot of female friends, a right. lot of them. I deal with plenty of women. They'll call and they'll talk to me about their relationship. Yo, this is going on. Da, da. If it ain't no rape or no domestic shit, like if you ain't getting beat on or a nigga ain't violating you in no way, I know how women you'll go through. It's like, I'm never, ever, I don't care what you tell me. I might, I'm going to give you my raw opinion because I'm mm-hmm. a genuine person. I'm going to mm-hmm. tell you how I feel because you confided in me to ask or how I feel. But there's never a point where I'm telling you, yo, leave him and go do this. Never. Because at the end of the day, you in that. And mm-hmm. this is a person that make you happy. This is for, for you to even call me to discuss. You already, in, you know, it's like, hold on. I just need to come and get some type of input. Yeah, because yeah, oh, I, I, I do. Somebody, so somebody take that in consideration. That's what, that's what people can't People, tell when you, you go to, yeah. people go to listen to friends, like, yo, do this, do this, do that, 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 that. It's like, bro, you, no. you bugging out. Like, yo, I'm you not You can't be telling people that. what to do. Yeah, there is a very big it. difference you because to, when you tell people what to do, you're not their parent. Right. You don't need to do that. And it's all about perspective, too, because the way you receive some or how you look yeah. at a picture, you could look at a picture that got three red lines on that shit. Right. And you could tell me you see a whole different vision of that picture. And I tell you, oh, this is what I see in this. Who's wrong? Who am I to say, oh, nah, you ain't see that, man. It's three, like, nah. All you can do is say, how are you feeling? How does that make you there feel? You go. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. like, I had one, one, one of my friends, she was so obsessed with this one person that she was talking to, and, and I was just like, and he's calling from Colombia, and he's telling her about, you know, his experiences in Colombia. You know mm-hmm. how that goes. And I was like, how does that make you feel? Because there was a point where she was like, I think I could be fine with him cheating. And I was like, <laughs> does that make you feel okay? And then right. she was like, absolutely not i hate this and i was like there, this is your answer mm. just just go back to yourself and understand yeah, how does that make man. you feel are you safe are you comfortable are right. you happy are you sad go through the list of emotions that you're experiencing and see how wh- what is going on with you right. because if you're not okay with it then you're not okay with it yeah, that's really and there are true. some people that are going to be okay with the it way, but that's yeah, not the way the, the world's set up right now man you're <laughs> crying that nissan or that maybach yeah. <laughs> there you go i don't go to that maybach i don't go to that maybach Put me in the back. If I got to cry, let me cry in the break. Might be rented, though. You never know. Yeah, it might be rented. It might be rented. It might be rented. Hey, they rented to ballet. I know that. Or a dealer's tag on the back. Flip flip VIN number. Hey, tell us. We had an A. Nigga, that might be his cousin. His cousin played the league. He been four months. That is a lesson to the girls. Like, do not trust someone who drives a really expensive car. Because first of all, it's dumb to do that. Second of all, it might be rented, and you never know. Uh Yeah, better watch out. Hey, look, Mm -hmm. so man, we got this shit called the icebreaker. Icebreaker, icebreaker. You ready, man? We start. I'm putting hard in. We go. We go. You ready? It's for ice. Mm -hmm. You want some ice? (laughs) Icebreaker, right? You ready? Mm. So you been messing with this guy, right? Ooh, messing with the guy, right? I ain't love y'all, y'all start having sex, right? Ooh, he yeah, been, he been, he been honey packing you for the last, Ooh, last five been, times. Oh, he don't. This, this, what, do you, what, what does that mean? Oh, do y'all know the vibe? Yo, fuck it out. Nah, you fuck it out. Yo, <laughs> you fuck it out. Yo, <laughs> yo, Listen, that's translate that. Nah, nah, I'm from nah, Russia. Nah, nah, Russia nah, is my first language. Ain't that? Ain't that? Y'all know? Wait. I got hey, ice. You gotta, you gotta. That's the honor of the business. Yeah. Yeah. Ice, break the yeah, ice. Tell us what that means. So okay, so don't break the ice. So y'all know what the honey pack is? No, no, no. Oh, tell us Nate what it is. Huh? Oh, Nate about to break the cold. Yo, y'all, yo, y'all really. Y'all oh, break honey pack went down to the, the honey cold. Pack. It's two. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Hey, look, see, look, everybody mad. Y'all don't know what the honey pack is. I don't know what the honey pack is. Listen, yeah, English is my second language. I don't know a lot oh, of words. So uh, go for different. it. Uh, I can't give it to him. I, I have that excuse always. I got to tell you what it is. No, you but don't. But tell us. Tell no, us what you it is. Don't. It ain't nothing. <laughs> nigga handling his business. He coming in there. He hand, honey badger. Honey badger, he coming to handle his business. 
Let's they mean he laying it down? Yeah, right. exactly. He okay. coming and laying it down, holding it. He give you good? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, cool. That's cool. it. Hey, oh, that man, one. these niggas stop my question. Oh, no, no, go ahead. Answer it. You got to answer it. Honey, bad. What you said. But you was going to What was the question? Nate? Huh? Go ahead. He ain't finishing. He ain't finishing. Oh, he ain't finishing. I did finish it. You going to ask me? No, no, no. Yeah, you said no. I said so. He came and gave you good work. Uh -huh. his business. With the honey <laughs> pack. No. And nothing else? That just, just that? Oh, are you talking I'm about the honey that you take? Oh, look, see, okay, you know what okay, about. The, the gold and black. Okay, gotcha. Okay, you okay. know what the honey pack okay, is? Okay, I thought it was another slang. Okay, yeah. So you don't know what the honey it's pack is? It's an enhancement. Is? Yeah, okay. Okay, so you've been messing with a dude, you've been honey packing me. Honey, it's a cheat code. Would you stop messing with him? <laughs> <laughs> one thing a man ain't never supposed to do. What? Talk about the honey pack? No, 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 not that. Oh, okay. Keep going. You don't know what it is. I still well, lost. Keep going. What's the question? I'm saying, would you stop messing with him once you found out that he was using that in y'all sex if life? If he was using the, the enhancement to stay um, going longer. It, oh. it makes them, um, oh. I guess, oh, stay God. hard longer. So if you found out that... You know, he's oh, a two second man. Is there like any other context to what else going Viagra. on there? Like, is it just. If you just... found out your man was using Viagra, the same, oh. same scenario. That happened to me once, and that's just not. <laughs> that that is, I was dating so I was Elaborate. 22. I was 22, and I was dating someone who was 42. Right. Because I thought it was so cool. He was blue pilling you. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. I tried a lot of drugs with that man, let me tell you mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it was. Perfect. It was horrible. <laughs> it was not it, and I'm never doing that again. It's right. just not like, it's like there is a fine line when this shit is like not cool anymore. It's like, bro, you gotta stop. Like, I can't. Like, this is not. I'm not a machine. Like, we gotta, we gotta cut it off. This is it. Like, oh wow. I'm just, you know. Like there's got to be a lot more than just sex there. Like right. you got to have some some sort of emotional. I, I I'm guess I'm like the You got emotion. Wait, hold yeah. on. He was nearly into the cross off of it. Yeah. He, he's blitzing. <laughs> he's he mangling you. He's you right. loving it. He's yeah. loving yeah. it. You love him. Y'all already got a good relationship, but the last like. The Are last... you a sexual person? You... I'm a very sexual person. Right, so okay, so he's giving you. He's satisfying every need. He's giving to you how you want it, mm -hmm. multiple times. He's going crazy. You loving it, but you just like yo, son. What's Else is what's going on. <laughs> you know. No, no. She let her take her up through that. She let her take up through that. How do you pack me in? I never did a gas station. Well, I did. I I never did a gas station. I had one of my motherfuckers. I never did a gas station. I just stopped. I'm like, I don't know. You tell us how much time. The ginseng pill? Not a rhino motherfucker. You know what a rhino motherfucker? Oh, real nigga. So, how was it? Now, you tell us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, listen. Hold on. Never a gas station. Never had a gas station. No, no, no. Ever a honey pack? Definitely a honey pack. Right. But, but why? Yeah. Why did you have to have a no, unicorn? It's just honey like, back? yo, it's just, you see, I can't get into that because this is it's a lot of guy code in here that, <laughs> that we ain't supposed to be on. Oh, you man. Not, I mean, if you, if, I feel saying, like if y'all take like the honey back, it's you like, I want to go all night long. Nah, I'm going to get to it. Or one today, thing about it, you can't say. I think you can still go all, all night. night. If you know your body and know how you do, you just like, what you could, like yeah. your, how you said, for Ooh. your body and use that. You can work out and do what you put in, you can still work how you're supposed to. Math equations. So he's not, you know, he can Focus. last. Literally, like, the guy was a financial advisor, and he would just go on and be like, hold on, hold on. Like, literally, I could tell the man is solving something in his head. Just oh, to get his mind off. Wow. He was solving that oh, thing. He oh, was, yeah, he was solving that <laughs> thing. Yo, that shit roulette. <laughs> <laughs> that is going crazy. Uh, that thing's crazy. No, yeah, well, nah, I, but lie, I don't stop and got a gas station girl before. And how was that? You get a headache, but you go for like three, four days. Three, <laughs> four days? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You be on some monster shit. Y'all laughing. That rhino? Yeah. That rhino, that rhino motherfucker ain't no joke. So you did you get a review after what happened? Like, oh, man, you standing up strong. You know, you out there, you giving out good credit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even got to act. You ain't even got to act. You ain't even got to act. You 
got ass. But she laying in the bed looking like everything okay She's to smiling. Her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One thing She's about smiling. it, let me tell you something too. One thing about it, if a nigga got ass. Because doing that, I ain't gonna lie. Nigga got ass, nigga know he ain't put that work in, man. When you know I feel that. I feel that way. I feel like you got to be like, how was it? You already know it was whack, bro. Why you ask me? If you got to ask me how it was, you know it was whack. You can walk out of there, you go in the bathroom and do one of these, or you talk in the mirror for a second. You go in the bathroom and do Tyrese on and do your shit. Because I'm a real nigga. I get in that bathroom. I don't do that. I don't know. If I lay you on the bed, I know you did. First of all, a man. If a nigga said they never told they said he front. He gets in that bathroom and you look at that mirror like, yeah, nigga. I handled that shit. Wow. So y'all don't do that? Yeah, y'all put it on the nigga? Y'all Absolutely. We were like, shit, like, all right, let me take a shower and go to sleep. I'm, I'm done here. Yeah, I'm definitely like, I guess I'm like, yeah. I'm like, y'all like after, after, though, after like, if you're here. But in my head, when I'm... Yeah. I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, I got it. Uh, <laughs> see, look, 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 look. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta know when you got the when you got the glow. But after I'm like, I'm taking a shower. All right. No, I got nigga know when he did his thing. He ain't gotta ask. That's what I'm saying. Like nigga, nigga ain't gotta, gotta. If a nigga asking was the vibes, you know it was whack. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. really yeah. ready to double whack. back. He it's really, the whole time while he asking you, he waiting for the response. He already you know he was but, but, but you you this, act, Have you ever had a whack time and then came back to try to see, like, if it would be better the second time? Oh, yeah. yeah niggas oh, don't fumble. Sure. I mean, you go out early. Wait, hold on. When you say a whack time as far as your performance or whack with your partner? Your performance. Oh, oh, for shit Ooh. show. I definitely, I don't call niggas and say, damn, boy, I fumbled. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's yo, real life. Word of my mama. I, yeah. The first time, like, yo, damn. I dropped the ball, I guess. Cause you know so sometimes it be so you take accountability. But you gotta I gotta, remember yeah. that I gotta go get be, my kids back. Cause sometimes it be, damn boy, I think she's gonna give me that pussy that night, so I had to go. You weren't ready. Yeah, I wasn't ready. I wasn't <laughs> ready. ready. Too excited. Yeah, okay. too excited. Okay. And then you got it. You be like, fuck it. She, she don't let me hey. go back. I hit it. You know what I'm saying? But then she let but you go. Did you opinion. make sure that she was fine after? Like, are you like nah, taking you care of the ladies? You don't gotta act. You know what's That's what I'm telling you. Niggas know. When you drop the ball, it's like it's like it's like. You know when you play in a basketball game when you had a shitty game, or you know when you play football, you wasn't on that night. You know it, like it, you bogus if you don't know it. So and then are like girls or females are they really mean to you after or like? No, no, no. It has to if you're be. a cool ass, first of all, if you've been a cool ass nigga, you ain't gonna get just you know what I'm saying. But if you one of them niggas that's been ride around like, oh boy, I, this is what I do. I'm that nigga. <laughs> She gonna let your ass have it. She gonna call her hunger like, listen here, bitch. He could have kept just coming, bringing me food. I'm you know what I'm saying? See, yeah. <laughs> but if you a nigga that's just like playing it cool, like y'all, and then y'all fuck around and slip up and fuck, and then he like, he ain't do his thing that night, but he come back. My nigga had a baby off that shit. She came back. <laughs> he came Damn. back. This nigga funny. I, yeah, see, like that happened to me once Yo, when a guy just a like it was bad, bad, bad. It was bad, bad. Like it was just bad. Man, everybody had a fuck. Hey, yo, I don't give a fuck. Nobody talking about. Everybody out. had a good so, night. So here's the thing. Yo. It was really bad, but I was just like, I was like, hey, you I was like, that's Nate fine. Like one, I don't care. Man. I'm completely like, I'm here. Like here, we can cuddle. I don't like. I'm. He literally started crying. He was like, no one has ever been that nice to me. Like I've been so stressed. Like he's told me the story. He's like, to this day, this man calls me. Bad, bad. That's a bad. A nigga cried to you. That's a bad night. But but like, I mean, I we 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 were talking for a little bit. But like to this day, he's like, hey, you know, like you've been so nice to me. And I'm just like, yo, like bad night. Who cares? Everyone's a bad night. Because one thing about it with a bad night, if you're a cool nigga, like yo, every the vibe is cool. A bad night is acceptable to a woman. Yeah. If she give you benefit of the doubt, she really fuck with you. But you're a human. I don't care. Like. Yeah, so it's like a bad shit. night. It's like, all right, nigga, this happened. Because yeah. for, one, for one, all she feeling, now you just gave her leverage. She got the one like, my pussy fire. Yeah. Like, nigga, you couldn't. I'm mad. That's what was going on. Like, <laughs> y'all you mad. feel like that nigga, too. You could, my time. I'm mad. Nah, that's yeah. like, you yeah, mad. You mad. As a woman, like, if See, y'all, you, you know what? That's a if it's a nigga. No, 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 no. Cece, 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 Cece. Look, let me tell you when you mad. You wasted my time. Now you tell you when you mad, Cece. You wasted a number. No, Cece. Like, come on. You wasted a number. No, Cece, Cece. No, 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 no. Oh, time out. Hold on, time out. Cece, you're mad when you gave it up, when it's like, I ain't really, I ain't even supposed to give you none of this pussy. But I gave you some of this pussy and you fumble, that's when it's a waste of time. If it's a nigga you rock when you like and it's like, all right, nigga, like, damn, nigga, like, we're gonna, we gonna work with that. I'm with the first one. I'm yeah. with the first one. I'm the first time one. you I'm give, first, if you gave it up yeah. and it's a nigga who we ain't supposed to do this, it was feeling tonight, like, damn, I've been seeing you. It's like, we want, but this night happened and we going. Then you fumble, like, nigga, what the fuck? I ain't yeah, fucking I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you. That's what I'm that with is. That, yeah. So it's yeah, like, but if it's somebody you fucking with, it's like, you let a nigga double back because them nights happen when you fumble and you can't, and a shorty will cut you off and you like, 
that dread a nigga. Nigga be like, oh, I can't get back. I can't redeem. This is what's gotta stay on you forever. Yeah. You finally you got it. And could yeah, handle your you business. Like, Damn, whack ass. Oh, the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Especially, especially if you don't tell the fuck. Right. Oh, like, yeah, right. Like oh, hey, you know what? Yeah, I'm glad in my life I ain't never had to have nobody look at me and say I fumble. That's that's a good life. Really? I'm talking about no. Wait, wait, wait. I had, wait, wait, wait. I, I've had fumble moments, wait, wait, but you wait, wait, gave wait, me a double As women, we do. We do act like y'all put it down, and it might be wet. I can yeah. say that too, we but lie. I'm just saying, like <laughs> we lie, we lie, yeah, oh, we lie. Give a chance to give us <laughs> When you learn, when you learn that body, ain't yeah. no lies being told. Oh I'm hey, telling you, girl, can I ask you a question though? Girls can fake it. Can I ask you a question, can I ask you a question too? Mm -hmm. Why are y'all mad if a nigga go out quick? That coochie was good. It was hot. Yeah. Because that's like sticking a hot dog. I have that's a, like sticking a, a hot dog in the microwave for 30 seconds. It's gonna explode. You got you. I ain't got me. <laughs> exactly. Like, like, each other. Also, we were also. I ain't like, get me. You got you. Keep going. Uh, What's up with me? You talking about? Oh yeah. shit! It was like, oh, I'm up. saying you give a nigga a lot of money. So you don't give a nigga the double back? You don't have. So you don't have. You ain't never had a nigga fuck up and then you gave him a double back. Like the first time it was weak as fuck, and then he came back and, yeah, put, and, then and I, put his big white pants on. No, it, it still was whack, and I was like, that's just what it is. Oh, uh, two time whack. Two time whack. Now he, now he, 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 he need to go in the book. Like, if you get your kids back, it's like when your mom tell you to go outside and nigga whoop your ass, and you catch him again, you get your shit back. You gotta get your shit back. You can't just go. You can't just go out. You can't win them all. You can't win them all. It can go in the way. It can be good or bad. It just. But this is my question with women. Go ahead. If you having sex with a woman, what makes it bad? Because yeah. I've heard dudes be like, you know, I got to do They say, like, oh, that pussy was whack. What, how it. was the pussy whack? Lazy. 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 What, what consider what lazy? Because she didn't get on a ride? Because what, she knows because she just don't want to move. She want to sit there and move. <laughs> 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 you ain't dead, bitch. Get up. Do something. Rub a nigga neck. Grab my head. Bitch, scratch my back. Bitch, let me know we both here. Slap you Yeah, yeah slap me or Wait, she just Come laying down? <laughs> Oh, the sound? Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, honey. That's what you You know what I'm saying? That pillow prince, that shit be weak. Or we act like y'all ain't freaky. Like She ain't even like doing that. None of yeah, that. Yeah, like grab a nigga and like, poke me in my eye or something, bitch. Do something. You know what I'm saying? I'm just happy. I'm just be laying there talking. Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Just do something. Just move. Know, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, your, or your coochie be dry. Yeah, that dry, dry coochie. coochie. I've heard well, that, that from my friends. Yeah, dry oh. coochie. What about, what about girls? And I heard that. Oh, I've been drinking tonight. Like, I'm just like, bitch. Good. This bitch, she wet on my sheets. I was like, crazy. Like, I don't like oh, I that. Some that people shit. don't That's like that. Mean. Some men don't like that. No. Eating and wetting up the sheets. Oh, like a squirting. Oh, I love you know the wetness. See, look, there you go. If it's wet for me, yeah. do I look and like it's what? crazy. <laughs> she gave me a lecture. Everybody did. You know, you go, sometimes you can go there, though, if you don't know you got that. You don't know. Hey, it happens. Hey, that's crazy. So it like, happens once. Crazy. Yeah. You got ability, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It just depends. I think the person and the chemistry, honestly. I yeah, think it that's does. What it is. Right. It's, a, it's the chemistry. Niggas got to know how to get to them spin outs, too, though. You know Niggas don't be knowing. Niggas just feeling like it's just a man's ego. I know it ain't the man. I know what I do, what I do. I tell people this. They can say he make babies. Two people. <laughs> it ain't just me. That's true. Yeah. Good sex is gonna be both of us motherfuckers going at it like we trying to win the championship. That's right. So that's good sex. So if it ain't that, you. if you sitting on there and you mm mm mm, he gonna be like, man, fuck it, I'm about to get this nut and go on shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like then you gonna be mad. Sex. But like, good sex is always. I like it's to have on good two. sex. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. so that means if you like somebody, that's what I just said. Like, we always had this conversation about. Like somebody flying you out. You know somebody fly you out. Y'all already got a chemistry together. You just ain't about to get on a plane with no nigga and go kick it with no nigga that you don't know. Some of these girls do. They both yeah. a lot of these They meet them in the DM. So when a, so a nigga put you on blast and wants you to give him some pussy like, or something, I wanna fly you, you gotta out. deal with the consequences. DM. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, different. but if you been vibing with somebody, y'all been having phone conversations and y'all texting. Right. He's and like, man, you gonna have sex. You gonna have sex. Of course you're gonna have sex. The vibe already there. Y'all already unlined it up. One of my hey, one of my cousins used to tell me this all the time. He would say, "Man, you might not get that, that pussy on the turf, but if y'all go somewhere else in a different that's spot, me. You might know. get it. You might get what it. is cousin? If anything, yeah. we build it and we in the AI and we in camp. If we step foot anywhere else Another outside time. of this soil, your ass is grass. grass. <laughs> your ass is done deal. It's over. With. So how you gonna feel that she don't give you none? Yeah, if she we'll don't. Then it's just like, all right, cool. So I'm never ever pursuing it no more. All that flirting and what we was doing, we just took it outside where we was at. Right. And you ain't give me none of this pussy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah, shit over. With. All that flirty playing with you. Like I'm like still her. fucking. Yeah, nah, I'm a real like nigga. Home? Yeah, okay. you coming back, okay. but just like we ain't doing none of that flirting playing no more. Cause right. you just playing with my mind. Cause all this, you could have situations. Just a real nigga shit. You could be fucked with somebody and know it's certain. We can't do it. I got this going on. I got this going on. Man, we right. take a trip and we caught. We in Mexico, Cali, wherever we at. We ain't in Atlanta no more. We on a trip. 
and you playing, you know how we've been vibing. Only reason why we wasn't because we back at the spot and we can't do it. But we out of <laughs> town. Many, many and you ain't going to give me all this pussy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's over with. I'm glad I ain't never flew nobody out. So if a girl, you never flew nobody out. I'm going to be real. I ain't never flew nobody out. Ever. Have you flown somebody out? Ever. Never. Ever. Ever. Never. Ever. But I didn't know I was on that. I just never, never was just on that. I might not have been in the position my to do that. I, I just never. was never on that. It was like, just, I, me too. Like, my thing, was, my thing was, I never even, like, first of all, I live in Atlanta. Right. Then when I travel, it was always like, nigga, gonna see everybody what's going was on coming here. here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was coming here. Always so saying, and then Atlanta always been the spot. So you know what I'm saying? Then when I meet somebody, and the first thing I think you tell me to fly, you all bitch, you trying to use me. So I, like you cool. use I've been flown out to Atlanta. Oh, okay. You live yeah. from Russia? No, uh huh, from Russia. Oh, no, he, I don't great. think you, you get better a get No, it's from California. And it was, I met him in LA. Right. I was out in LA and I met him for five seconds. I was actually with the DJ. I don't even know how that happened. Right. But I was I was lit. So I was with the DJ. He <laughs> saw me lit. with the DJ. <laughs> he followed me on Instagram. He gave my Instagram to the DJ. And then um, what happened was that he called me and he was like, he's like, hey, can I fly you out? And I was like, I was with your friend. And then he's like, no, 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 like, can I fly you out? He's like, just send me your information. I'm like, um, oh, well, me, me don't care. Sure uh, so was it still an interactive moment? Like, yo, okay. So, no, and then we Russia actually started talking. And so I was supposed to go for Valentine's Day. I was supposed to go to LA to be with the, with the DJ guy. Right. And I canceled my flight two minutes before. I was supposed to go to the airport. And I was like, I'm getting on the plane to Atlanta. I'm going to Atlanta. Oh, because shit. we were, like, getting so, like, we were vibing. We were connecting. Told you the vibe, we man. Were, yeah. Don't put her in the air if y'all ain't vibe. I, I landed. <laughs> we went to, remember, uh, first time in Atlanta. Thompson Hotel. I got, like, we had drinks. And then, like, yeah, we were just, we hit it off. But then, like, n nothing. He handled his hey, business. that's dope. Huh? Oh, yeah. No, it was good. Like he hit it off. Yeah, he handled uh, his business. It was, it it was good the first time, and then it was just complete trash because, like, it was. Because you were vibing with him the first time. We were he vibing. Was off the no, pack. but I, I was just like. <laughs> that's crazy, so. Like, he's not Niggas sexual. Be like, he's to go not. Out. And he was like, you were too affectionate. You're too this. And I'm like, whatever. And then. See, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta have that. We got the kiss and all that. Are you real affectionate? I'm affectionate. If I'm talking to you, I'm affectionate. Like, the hell? Yeah, some men don't have to do that. Don't have to do that. I'm a week. very not affectionate person. Like in real life, you won't find me like hugging people, touching people. No, but if I'm talking to someone, like I'm better yeah. be grabbing your hand. That's your, that's like, your yeah. boo. That's you know. Yeah, you yeah I would never be like you know. <laughs> that makes sex yeah. better. That yeah, the interaction do make sex better. You don't need yeah. no pack. You don't need no none of that. If y'all yeah. having saying. sex with each other, that's why working yeah. out. If you got the right nutrients and you doing what you <laughs> do, you can handle your business. But like I said, if it's if it's like water and fruit, like, I had you going crazy. That too, but if the person, if the person, water like, and fruit, yeah, but the person working out consistently, you, you can't just be oh, just water and fruit. You still eating crazy, doing water and fruit with a consistent. Well, it ain't got to be a crazy, a little cardio day to day. What had you doing shit that you ain't know you could do? <laughs> Word of my mama. This nigga's stupid. I was just telling you. No, that's, that's one though. for them that's guys. But, but like, and I always tell people this. Cardio, water, and fruit. Somebody, that, somebody, that, somebody that, Brace. like, if somebody that you feeling, like, both of y'all feeling each other, it's going to always be dope. Yeah, but you know then there's a there's a point where it's like I'm I was just like man I'm I can't do this this is yeah, not, this it, is whole because it get boring but it was like yeah. it was like it was well like, it was like a sparkle and then it just died down because you know I'm in Atlanta with him here he's on his phone 24 seven oh yeah that's we're yeah. in the bed he's in on the phone and I'm just like I'm not doing this this is stupid mm. this is just how I'm, long you been in America uh nine and a half years oh mm. nine and a half yeah. so also oh, just Cali and then Atlanta yeah. Oh, so from Russia to Cali? No, from Russia, I was 14. I moved to Australia, so I was oh. there. I did not know a word of English, so when I moved what? there, I learned English. So, But I was between Russia and Australia till I was 18 because I had to finish high school. Uh -huh. And, like, they would let me go there for, like, four months, and then I'll have to come back. Mm. I was between Europe and Australia and Russia. And then I went to London, uh, to the U.K., not London, Sheffield. Um, I was there for a year, and then I hated it. And then Damn, the UK? I could not, it was so depressing, it was so dark, and the brick everywhere, I was like, I can't do this. Damn. And then my mom was like, um, I want you to go to the US and try it out. And I was like, I don't want to do this, I want to go to friends. She's like, no, you're going to the US. She's like, for six months, you're going for six months. I came to the well, Bay I mean, I, We met somebody in Miami, my boy, shot my yeah, boy from JB. Australia, yeah, his, from he's Australia. from Australia, his mom, 
every season. Yeah, he do a, on like he a do a world tour. Yeah, world yeah, tour, yeah, like yeah. different places. Oh, yeah. Chase countries, yeah. yeah he I think it was in Miami, he's just living. He he fucking with him. Him. We met him, we took him. We met him on the beach, and he ended up just being with us the whole, like, seven days in Miami. Like, this Australian dude, he was just chilling with my boy JD. Yeah, he was crazy. That's the vibe there. Yeah, because I thought I was going to hate it. I was like, man, this American dream, this McDonald's, Pepsi, Cola, I don't want this. I don't want to be fat. Like, I want to do this. And then I came here, I was like, oh, my God, this is a different world, and I love it. The opportunities that you can have here, you cannot have anywhere else. Damn, so that's crazy. Oh, wow. It is different. Yeah. It is. And it was, it was tough. You know what? And that's why, that's why foreigners just should be looking at us like, oh, man, y'all niggas got to eat. You know what I'm saying? But I was just in Dubai, and they was no. like, I don't want to go to America. What? Well, Dubai, 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 Dubai so much money though. Oh, well, Dubai is different. You see that? You see it's that whole so, nother? You see that whole nother? So beautiful over there. How yeah. was that? That's why I got to I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm about to cheat a little bit. How was Dubai? We got to live in you because I want to go. It was wonderful. When I tell you, you didn't see a piece of paper on the ground on the freeway, mm -hmm. you can leave your designer bags. I can leave my purse and go to the bathroom at the valet. Nobody's gonna touch it. Mm -hmm. You know, you know if you go to Louis Vuitton store now, they want you got to have a number or something. You can leave your bags. Nobody's gonna touch your stuff. Like it's beautiful there. Or how long you that shit built off three days and that was not enough. In them three days, Man, I was like, did three days the laws are so strict because oh, you it's fast. a different system. It's not as strict, but how you think? Yeah, CC get money. Yeah, money. You yeah, CC yeah, get money. Three days? Niggas said they owned it five separate days. Right, exactly. I'm going back. It got to be five. Yeah, I went, in, I went up in the air, but it's... The it's, little restaurant, how was it? No, not that. No, I didn't do that. I'm blessed. I don't know about that. I don't think I should do that. But I'll try next time. It's just beautiful. I don't know how to explain it. Every time somebody asks me, I'm like, it's just different. And them people's like, oh, like I sat down with Air, some um, Arabians or whatever that was there, and they was like, I don't want to go to America for what? Y'all killing and you know stealing from each other. We're here, we have no crime. I can live, what? make my money, and they have no oh property. Everybody who lives there, who's born there, gets a house plus a stipend each month, even if they work. A and dog. five wives, so. They all have houses. Shot. <laughs> Already, so that's like part of your life. That's a part of your life. That's so like Canada, no though. How the I fuck I'm in America? You're right. You have no Yo, problem. Like, like Canada, like, cause, you know, like, we all from upstate New York. So people Chase, that live right. in Canada, they be like, I'm dying for what? We got free health care. Like, if you born in Canada. Yeah, I have been to Canada. They say it's pretty yeah, like, like, it's got, nice. Like, you get free health care automatically. Like, so that's crazy for you to say, like, when you born over, you get a house mm -hmm. and a stipend every month. So they don't even want you to be poor. They don't even want that to be on their country. They make country they take care built of their up. Yeah, they country. But if you like, it, 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 it makes you feel like, damn, America, shit, I want to go live in Dubai. It's beautiful. But the thing is, like, yeah, it's a different shit, story. Yeah. The water was cool. We got right. on the boat. It was cool. But it's, it's like, even though the architecture. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know what? Niggas be sleeping. I think Jamaica got the best water. There's something about that Jamaican water. Like, I. You could look at the bottom. I was, I had fun. No, it's a lot. It's a lot of shit out here. That Bali shit, that Barcelona yeah, shit. Yeah. That looks that, real. That yeah. water look real. Yeah, yeah. That, that water, that shit looked different. That water looked different. That shit. I'm talking about the place that I done been. I done been yeah, in. That shit. Um, different. That water, water looked like. Yo, what the fuck? That. Man, to me, I don't, I'm standing on the pier and it's like 30 feet deep and I'm looking at the bottom of Jamaica water like. I went to Rick's Cafe and I jumped off. Yeah. I was like, damn, he's like, I'm looking at the rocks. It is, it, 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 different areas, it, it, it is really It's clear. real it's beautiful, real like, you know what I'm saying? Very even salty, when, even, yeah, like, even when we did the little, the little bamboo boat all the way down the little river, mm -hmm. you can literally look and see, like, in the, mm -hmm. in the little, so it's like, mm -hmm. that shit, I ain't gonna lie, that shit be dope. That be the experience, yeah. you know True. what I'm saying, when you get out of the True. country, that shit be dope. True. So but man, it's different, I think, you know, when you come here, you just have to figure so many things out, mm -hmm. and... It's to the point where a lot of Americans don't have those things figured out. Like, I'm pretty sure I know the laws better than some. Well, <laughs> I know, I know the country probably better than most, and I still don't have my passport here. Mm. But it's, you know, it, it, it's a long story, but it doesn't matter. It's, to me, I think there are a lot of issues that are in the country, but they're, it's like, it's progressive. Right. It's, it's conversation. And that's one thing I can say about Jamaica. Like, when yeah. I went to Jamaica, like, they could tell you about their whole, everything that you're mm -hmm. going past, what you're doing. They're going to give you a rundown, like especially when you're with the tourists because that's their hustle. Mm -hmm. But their hustle is dope because they're giving you the rundown on every street. Like, this street was put up two weeks ago because, <laughs> like, for real, like, you know what I'm saying? Here, when your ass gets to the A, boy, your ass better go down to the velvet or something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because we don't got that, we don't be having that understanding of, like, even, like, because this shit dope. Like, I tell everybody that the United States so dope because, like, we ain't never had no real, we ain't never had no wars over no. here. So we don't never know how that shit is. 
Yeah. We don't know what a nigga is until like, the top of US this one. US is like, mind. it's like a whole world in its own, too, because you can go to different states and it's like different, different. places. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, you can whole, go to Hawaii. Totally. It's, it's like, different. what the hell? Where is this from? Like, it's right, right. just the nah. wonderland. Then you right. go I tell to too, like, the mountains. Just like you can live in California. Yeah. It's, the, it's California. It's two different places. It has everything there. Like, South, Southern California and yeah. like, it's totally California. different yeah. from like the Bay Area. You get what I'm saying? So it's crazy. It's definitely crazy. So I'm going to ask you tonight, man, money or love? Which one would you rather have? Mm. I would much rather have love because money is so easy to make. It is so easy to make. I don't, I mean, the thing is, like, I'm not caught up on money, and right. I, I just, that's how money flows. Right. For me, it's all love. Like, you can't take that away mm-hmm. in whatever shape or form it is. Right, right. That's real. What about you, CT? I'm going to say love because if we got love, baby, we can make this money. Mm-hmm. We can put, put it together and make this money. Right. I'm definitely, I'm a lover girl. So right, lover. right, right. So love. you either love. Love. Mm-hmm. What about you, Kevin? Love, love, love. love. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, love. Money. Look at that, so wholesome. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> word of cause one thing about me, I'm going to always get money, regardless of love or not. I'm mm-hmm. going to get some money. Right. Money going to go, so money going to come. But love, that's a different entity to have mm-hmm. with a person to share. So when you got love and somebody who genuinely love you mm-hmm. and fuck with you, mm-hmm. is no fucking um top off for where you could what you could do mm-hmm. where you can go mm-hmm. what you can make with true genuine love mm-hmm. and you and you share that, that with a person powerful. yeah that shit is different that's more than a, a word like yo you could see everything so it's like money i'm never worried about money regardless mm-hmm. about a person because i'm gonna get that regardless right. if you here or not so for me to love you and you love me too mm-hmm. Oh, bitch, we're going to be rich forever. Be unstoppable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on God. And you truly you? genuinely love me? I, you got to give me the love. I feel like money evil. Mm-hmm. Money fuck up friendships. Money fuck up family members. Money money come between a lot of shit that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you look out most of the time, people fall out. It's about some money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know or, what I'm or a female. That too. But you said, but the money yeah. come first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you could go back and look at a lot of people like your, your best friends, you'd be like, damn, what them niggas fell out about a bag? Well, them niggas fell out about a, a position because it was all about what? It was about money. money. Because yeah. if they really had love with each other or they really cared for each other, they would have wiped that shit under the rug and been like, you know what, man, we'll fuck it. Later. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We'll get some money. But you know what? A lot of times I fuck it up because with the money shit, the communication get fucked up. Because mm-hmm. people don't know, once they fuck up with the money, they feel like, you know what? I can't even deal with this person no more. I don't know how to talk to this nigga. So you know what? I'm going to go on my shelf. When a lot of times if you could talk to somebody and y'all can have a communication, because guess what? If y'all really love each other, y'all have communication with each other already. So if I can communicate with you, I can really tell you, like, what's going on, how I feel. And, you, and if you love me, you, you know what I'm saying? You'll give me a second chance. You know what I'm saying? But people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? So money, to me, money fuck up everything. Money fuck up your money fuck up marriages. Money fuck up everything. Because if your finances is fucked up, but if y'all love each other, if y'all really, really love each other, y'all can go through anything together. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And then you can grow together financially, money, yeah. spiritually, yeah. whatever it is. Because money is perspective, yeah. man. Yeah. Love is a feeling. Right. Money is, is an outcome of it. the work that you put in. So if you put in the work, then you, you don't get the outcome. Money. You know what I'm saying? And it might not even yeah, like, easy to make and money what now. people got to always so remember. I'm going to get some It always going to come on. It might not come on time. It might not come on time, but it's going to come. It's going to come. That's why I said with money, because I'm going to get some money. I don't give a fuck what I'm doing. Do y'all still believe in genuine love though do y'all feel like it's still out here in the world yeah, yeah. When I, you, when I, you got okay, kids go. No. i got a daughter i know she genuinely loved me she don't she don't know nothing else she just know i'm the but big that's guy that's different that's from that's a, a child. See, yeah that's no. a like, child she's talking child. about like, genuine no, love no, 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 no i'm about to answer that too oh. nigga i'm about to get married so i know that so i got a fiance so i know she genuinely loved me because i have never she have never been with me just for the shit that i could do for her it's always been that I fuck with this nigga because he really loved me and he cared about me. She, I know she got genuine love for me. Because mm-hmm. it don't be like, I ain't never just did no shit out of the ordinary. I ain't had to flash to get her. I ain't had to do no other shit to get her. It was just like. You be yourself. Be myself. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, to this day, too. to this day, she ain't never walked in the house like, hey, boy, you need to get 5000 for me right now. Like, you know how people call <laughs> like, it's the first of the month. I need you to do I don't like, understand she never that. Did that. So like, people nigga, do yeah, oh, yeah, what? I, get on my I, shit. I know Damn. that's that's. But y'all know we wow. live in the world. Nigga, call you right now. <laughs> nigga, just I, I, meet like, you, ask you to pay that rent. Mom. You like, know what I'm saying? What? So yeah, it's definitely people out here that still yeah. got genuine love for yeah. you, and people ain't out to get you. I believe, I believe that. You get yeah, what I'm I think saying? that I think that a lot until of until I know something different. 
Right, you know but I think a lot of people started feeling like they're not loved anymore, and that's where a lot of, for me, that's where a lot of mental health stuff came from. Right. And then I remember my mom called me, and she was like, what do you mean? And my mom never said in a million years that she loves me. Right. She's like, what do you mean? She's like, you know that you're my everything. I love you so much. But right. I don't throw love just like, I don't say, like, I love you. Right. Like I, to my first boyfriend, it took me six months to tell him that I love him. That's too early still. That's too Shit, early. But, like, months. to me, it was, like, actually, right. like, actual love. Hell, yeah. He six told me two weeks in. Really love somebody. You See, lust that's a whole yeah. other topic. So it's like, yo, <laughs> yeah. I would say, if we could go back lust to that. Lust and love is two different things. Is, yo, it yeah. definitely is. Yeah. So definitely you could love somebody, you know what I'm so saying? So you don't believe yeah. you could meet somebody tomorrow and fall in love with them? Hell yeah, no. no. How? Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't know like, nothing about If I love each other. someone, I love someone. I, there's no and one else. We had that conversation. <laughs> like, we always, like, I had this conversation. Can you be in love with two like, people at one time? Some people believe yes, you can. can. Never, See? never. You never. can be in love, you but can. you cannot we, love no, too. Me and him had this never. argument all the time. And I believe you can. First of all, with loving somebody, bro, it's a lot that come with love. When you're loving a person, for for one, you can't get caught in the feeling of how this person making you feel. You could be, if you never received this, you would think it's love. You never received it. This just is something that's coming to me. I'm getting this. That ain't always love. You got to go through. You got to really travel with a person. You got to deal with a person with some yeah. money. You got to deal with a person on their heart. You got to see a person completely angry. It's a lot. You got to damn near live with a person. It's a lot of steps of love, love. Yeah. to deal with to say that I love you. It's a, just how they make you feel is only one part. And if you say mm -hmm. that you love this person over how they make you feel, that's where the control come in. Now this right. nigga got a hold of you because... Oh, yeah, you love, I could do all this to you because I could prove this certain shit to you. I could go and buy you a bag and now you feeling like, oh, I still love you. Nah, you got to show a nigga like, yo, nah, I'm cool on I that. Nah. I got, yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah. for Find real. A bag that's it's like, not it, a love. It, it, that's right. what I'm saying. Calling me that's and saying, hey, did yeah, you eat today? A, Are you doing okay? Yeah. Are you okay? And that, and that, that is love. And, right. that, and that could be. That might person. be your love language. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's, it's perspective. See, that's why I was another thing, too, because people have different love languages. I will is that buy real? Gifts, is that real? Yeah. No, love yeah, love language is yeah. different. That's, that's what I'm saying. You, you know what I'm saying? It's just like understand. It's really love language is definitely is is something because I, I read it, but that's definitely something. But when it comes to with a person who who whoever you are and what you're dealing with as a person, you know what you like, you know what you want, you know what moves you, you know what motivates you, you know what get you moving. Like damn, I really fuck with this person. Mm -hmm. So you got to tap into what you really like and hone that to be like, all right, this one I'm on. Don't get caught into what everybody thinks. Whatever is your love lane, what you want, right. and what you deal with, deal with that. That's why, that's why, that's why, that's why some like, people Yo, argue. Some people yeah. argue that they can be in love with two people because... You can never be in love with two people because being in love with somebody, this is my argument, just saying, we do it. In love, when you're in love with a person and you truly like, Yo, I'm in love. When you in love, loving somebody, you can love multiple people all mm -hmm. day. I got love for this person. You got exes, like, <laughs> I yo, love. I love this person. I can move mm -hmm. on. But when you're so you in love. you still love your exes and still be with somebody else? No, because well, you can. You I love you. I love for you. I got love. I love you. I do. I love. I love you, but I love you. I got love. Let me give you my shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So being in love, when you're in love, it's like, ain't no way you saying, ain't no way I can come and say, yo, baby, I'm in love with you. We doing all this. Da, da, da. Even if a nigga fuck up, but in love is different. This is I'm all solely about you. So if you say this is done, now I'm willing to be like, yo, fuck anything. I'm fucking with you. I cut it all off. I'm rocking this. In love is different. That's a different part so of your body. So a nigga got five wives, he ain't in love with all of them? No, a nigga with five wives. But see, a nigga with five wives got created the, the, the establishment to... To be like, I can do this. You created this narrative for me to control the. No, I'm saying so. Somebody with five wives. Ain't, nigga with five wives ain't that like so he's not I in love with all five. Wives. So okay, the, the whole. I have some friends who are in what is it polygamous relationship, right? It is Woo. so. No, the thing is, I think the, the, the key here is the you poly, need to poly. love yourself when you know who you are and what you want. Again, everything goes go. back to self love because some people truly are happy with that because they just they just it's either a fear or whatever it is they they don't want to dedicate themselves to one person whatever the reason is right. and they're comfortable with multiple people right. but it has that to be balanced sure. to the point where they're taking care of all of them right. uh, there's enough affection there's enough and and those people on the other end are also okay with it then it's going to work there are some cases i know a case where it's just the most manipulative the most toxic thing in the world mm -hmm. but I'm people taking are care still of in there. And, you good, so and, I'm and, 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 and the, the reason why people are in there is because the man is very 
probably insecure. I think that's the word. And he's just scared because he doesn't know how else to Because I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, in Wait, the days you think that we that live, the man is insecure? He is. I know he, that. I know. The man is insecure. That's why he got multiple wives? Because he thinks that no one else is gonna love them. So he is very, like, everything is about those two women. But he. It's a lot of like. I don't think like, the man is saying. I think he like, might be manipulative. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, like, we live in an era now I see people with. I see people with multiple. Like. I see people with multiple wives and shit insecure, like that. Though. But it's like so he's trying to tell me. You guys tell me he got both of these wives and he don't. But the way y'all in love with both of these, giving a nigga the reason to move like that. You don't believe that? You said what? The way women is moving, it's like yo, why I'm not like yo, y'all moving. Women nowadays like in this niggas. age is moving like niggas. So a nigga come like, all right, y'all come to with this like, yo, this I'm going to do. I'm going to take care of this, 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 and this. Like, yo, yeah. Like, we just went back to it. You going to cry in the Nissan or the Maybach. Mm -hmm. You in the Nissan, like, yo, it's women. I know women to this day fucking with a nigga. Nigga got her all out her body doing all type of shit she ain't never even done. But a nigga got a bag. Nigga doing shit, putting it's her in self-respect. Yeah, it's that, yo, no, that, it's self-respect. It's definitely, yeah. but it's that's what it all comes down to. Yeah, but it all comes down to self-respect. It is so self. It all comes, it all comes down to self-respect. But the yeah. average woman don't even got the self-respect for herself. So herself. listen to what that, I just that said. That is true. That is so true. So I just said this. So you telling me it's a dude? I I know. So we, it's somebody in the world right now. He got two wives, two women that live with him. He not in love with both of them women. No, I think he's in love with, he's in love with idea, what he's in love with what he can do. Yeah, yeah he's exactly. in love, it's an huh? idea. bro. He's in love with his capabilities and what I can do. Right. He's not in love with the woman. He's in love with what I'm allowed to do. I'm in love with my position. Yeah, I'm in love of being a man. Right. I'm in love and I can control two bitches. Cause if this one leave, I could go get another one. I don't. I'm in love with you. I ain't even pursuing you. She leave. Oh, you good. I could go get another one to replace you, and I'm still rocking. So now he was in love? No, this person just left your life you was in love with. He right. ain't thinking about this person ever again. I still got the same. I'm in love with being the man. Right. I'm in love with being, I'm that nigga. I'm in love with I'm what you allow me to be. Because I know it's people so in the world that got in love with no two women. I believe, at the same time. I believe. Because in love is a different type of feeling and body. Right. But also, it. I think people are on different, like, they're. There's not always and a point in your life when you're going to be like, oh, I want to get married. Lives, man. Hold your, like, hold I'm ready down. to be in a relationship, right? <laughs> hold it down. How you going to say hold it down? <laughs> yeah, hold it down. I'm hold sorry. up. There's some people that are like, listen, I'm in my host stage. I'm going to go whole round. And if it well, happens okay. to be one. No, but like that happened. Yeah, it's respect. not happened to you? Say, yeah, no, love, yeah, respect. This is some like you can love, like I can love both of y'all, right? Right. I can love certain things about you that he doesn't do. And I can love love certain things about you that he doesn't do. So it's like you kind of so who you in love with? Though. Oh, it's like have I might love both of y'all. Yeah, you love us, but who you in love? You can't be in love with two niggas at the same time. How you not, how you can't? That shit is over. Why you you can't be in love with two girls at the same time? Go ahead, we listen. It came down to you having to choose between one of them. You, you taking one. No, no, but that's because you giving them the you giving them a choice. Uh, yeah, an ultimatum. You give them an ultimatum. If you're not giving them that ultimatum, or choose no. someone else. Who you, about you ain't thing. giving a woman an ultimatum. You give the nigga. No, no, you no. You, you give said, the nigga. No, the nigga. He, said, he said you had Time to choose out, one. This is what he just said. He said you had to choose between one. Why are you giving me he that ultimatum? Choose. Why are you giving me that ultimatum when I love both of y'all? I mean, I love both. Bill should leave. Ultimatum. Choose another no, one. Ultimatum. If something happened, random act of God happened, and you had to. Say, Why? You, had to you say, still give me the ultimatum. You had to save one person's life. Who? Who? Which one would you say? I'm trying to say both of them because I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You can't. Oh, that's it. Oh, that in love oh, is different. That's why it all comes out. That was saying. That was saying. That was saying. Love and lust. Love, 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 love is beautiful. beautiful. So you can. So you can lust. So you can lust multiple people at. Yeah, you can definitely love. You can love you can multiple love. people. You can, you can love, love multiple but people. You can't be, you can't be in, in love. love. You can't be in love with multiple people. I can go for that. I can go for that. But I also, that. I think when it comes to like five wives or oh, whatever, no. it's like every they have woman role. gives something to that man that right. fulfills them, right? But then right. again, if someone needs to fulfill you, what does that mean? That means that you're not completely in love no. with yourself mm. because you need something from someone else to fulfill your void that you have that you know there's something so missing that's in there. what comes with a lot of time when right. people so a nigga giving a, a lot of shit tonight <laughs> that's yeah. what comes with a nigga with a lot of times when niggas is dealing with so when you get to a certain age and where you at in life and you don't dealt with as a real person right. real individual mm -hmm. you don't dealt with love and love niggas know who they confiding in and who they right. really rocking with mm -hmm. and be like, yo, especially if you in certain shit. Like, yo, I love this woman. I'm only bringing this certain woman around certain shit. When you start to 
bringing in multiple women to this. It's like, bro, that shit that you ain't even all the way with yourself, man. Exactly. Because these people who you got a question like, yo, y'all love you, I'm rocking, like this is good. Niggas try to fill voids off of feelings. Like, I, I know I could go and do this. Like, I got this situation. Nigga have a whole situation, a, a complete system. Like, this shit mm -hmm. works. But this, with a person that works, that it works with, mm -hmm. even at home, with a person that go through something, bro, bro, this is church tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so a person, cause one thing about preach, it, preach, with, a nigga, with, a, with, a, with a nigga at home who going Rich through shit, with a nigga at home who going through shit, son, and you going through real life shit, and you in tune with a lot of shit at home, it don't always work out, bro. Like, yo, y'all go through, but she understands you, so she let a lot of shit slide and play off. Like, yeah, all right, mm -hmm. I understand that. And you go get something else off on the side that's rocking. She don't understand this real lifestyle, but she see it mm -hmm. and is cool with it. And it's like, yo, you already on tune. Like, oh man, I know I could bring this on. You don't really love it, but you love the fact that I got you where I need you, and you cool with what's going on. You in love with the fact of what you got going on. Right. But if it, if you had to choose between, I'm about to choose between who I know holding it down in this one. And you know who that's your ass is over with. Right. I'm going home to my, and it ain't got to be right. She and she's got like 15 six personalities, you know. She that's ain't enough. gave me none in six months because she a real woman. Yeah. She hold it up, but she really know me. Mm -hmm. right. You, man, this, it's over with. Right. You been, you, yeah, you been giving me a good time. I feel good. I'm doing, I'm still outside. I'm still feeling myself. Cause what niggas don't know, Father Time do catch up. Father, yeah. Father Time calling me handsome. Father Time, yeah. Father Time kept making nigga <laughs> feel good. Struggling my ego. Struggling my ego. And struggling you like the round where my jeans. That shit happened. This is real life shit right, right, that right. niggas yeah. deal with. And when you right. catch a real woman that's silent, a lot of niggas don't know how to hang that up. Cause you know how niggas move. That's it. Just come mm. down to the shit we were talking about earlier. Like yo, a nigga go, a, a female go and fucking do this, or a nigga go. A nigga's supposed to move like that. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's in your nature to handle my business. I ain't never right. retired. I don't give a fuck how I go. I'm still that nigga. Right. I'm telling my sons, my nephews, my grandkids, oh, man, that, I'm that nigga, nigga. man. Yeah. Ask any nigga who you know about me. Yeah. Rich was that nigga. Right. You like, that's down real like that. shit, though. Brother had that story, so like, Yeah, so it's like, yeah, yo. So you saying a woman so, can't have that story either? Yeah, no, yeah but like, you can't no, have it. Ask your question. You ready my for this? Mind, no, you ready my for this? No, Y'all can't. I'm about to, I'm about to, this is a night. This is how we going to kill women trying to be niggas. Have you ever took one for the team? Never. <laughs> have you ever gone on, have you ever went on a vacation and say, we going down here, we going to fuck some bitches? Never. That separates you from a nigga, okay? Niggas is on that. That's the type of time we live. Whoa. I don't fuck one of my niggas. I don't took one for the team. I don't got, went on vacation saying, we going down to this bitch, we going to live raw. Y'all don't live like that. No. So stop well, trying to live like that. Don't, hold up. Who Women don't, don't live like that. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. That's what I'm saying. That, that, that that's separates know. you from a man. I ain't been on that whole shit. I don't that's know what I'm trying to that. tell I you. Been on that. You ain't never went on vacation and said, you know what? I'm going out here. I'm here two, three niggas. No. I'm going to fuck me two, three niggas. Not no. two, three, but you would take one for the team. No. Oh, you took one for the team before? Uh, my best friend did. Oh, your best, best friend, friend had you. Okay, your best friend my did. Best yeah. friend. That's, that's your best friend. That's your best friend. That's your best friend. She's trying to brush that with her best friend. Have you I ever had, took one for the team? I had whole friends, but I'm talking about, have you ever been sitting on the couch, your man walk in with the joint, you like, I got an entertainer so my man can get off. And my fuck around a hit shorty and she look like a bird wolf. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That is that is and where nigga, women, that's, that's where women and men you know, draw the line. Just, it, it, you know what? Yeah, I don't give out our man. secrets, you guys. Absolutely, I have, have y'all ever had one night stands on this couch? I never had a one night stand. That's what I'm saying. Well, I had sex with somebody had that plenty. I knew one time, but I never met somebody. One night, we talking yeah. about. We talking no, about knocking hell about body and never no, call you I've again. Never told you a story. No, I've just met you in the club. I fucked you never. Nah, that's not no. no. One night stand is I hit that shit and I'll never talk never to you ever yeah, again. That's a one night stand. You've never, I've, I've done that. Knock your head off your body. I've, huh? had that. I've done it a few times. I almost married the we were in no, 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 the No, 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 no. No, no, listen to me. You don't even get you don't even get the call back when I knock you off. Listen to me right now. All right, good. It was Sunday. Me and my friend, we were out of San Francisco. We were day drinking, and my friend calls me and goes, like, yo. Do you want to come to Vegas right now? And I was like, fuck it. He's like, Oh, you yeah. live lit. Yo, oh, yeah. Lit. So I drove right she to the airport. Be the I, nigga in the I world. got on the plane, met a guy, and I look at him and I was like, Yo, we're in Vegas right now. He's like, Do you want to get married? Oh, I'm you like, gotta start watching the it. movies. <laughs> Literally, we, wait. We, he said we go to Vegas. You want to get married? All right, go we, ahead. Get we your just story. we were in a hotel. Uh, yeah. I just met the guy, and he was like, Do you want to like go get married? And I was like, Fuck it. Like, let's do it. Who cares? I'm I'm lit at this point. I'm like, yeah. Let's do this. 
we called the chapel. The chapel was like, we can't get you a marriage certificate. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. We hooked up. Never seen the man again. Damn. Told you what it did when was you woke good? up and he was married. Was I don't know. I mean, yeah. I was just living in the moment. Was you it like, good? You were just living in the moment. You like it was, the moment. But, it, but that's, it's something that's that you a just movie remember. Shit, yeah. that's I'm, that's talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about. Vegas. That's different. So when you in Vegas, you already got that shit like, I'm gonna fuck around because I'm in Vegas. I'm gonna go put on yeah, my but, Elvis outfit. Was that a part of that? What he said is that true? Uh, you, no, that's the. It was. It was honestly just like. You about to go? Or, no, I think it's. It, it. It has a lot to do with Vegas because when you are there, you're in this like. It's just. It's just so much going I'm on. I'm talking about like, in the crib. But your man pull up but, with the joint. But if it's like these, a one, one night of them stand. Joints like, who the did it? What it, did it? He let stupid. him blitz going. You talking about marriage? The thing about not. one night stands is that you just cannot talk to. But that one said that one that one separate men from women. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we, we, it just depends. How we are like you said. We we are we in this new era where we have lost the women when women think they can be men. Y'all not men because certain shit y'all can. We like to have and we fun. not y'all. It's certain shit we but can't. It's certain shit we can't put up with. Yeah. Hey, look, nigga, talk all that shit. A nigga talk all that shit. But guess what? He ain't. He can't do the shit that you could do. So as women, right now, if I cut my girl out with a nigga, oh, I'm on her ass. I gotta find out what's going on with this nigga and everything. That's why your nigga was going through. When he seen you on social media, he was like, "What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I, she went where and Yo, so. he, he and then you want to tag the nigga on the horse? He man, where what's going on? Because it's, it's in sight now. You get what I'm saying? That's our ego, and that's the shit that we can't handle. You could have handled that. You weren't. You weren't really mad. You did it to be funny. Because if you really wanted to be it, you was in the kitchen having TikToks. When you seen a nigga at the concert, you was cool. But when you but when you fuck with him, you fuck with him because you know it was gonna do what? It was gonna stroke his ego. He was gonna be mad. That's what I'm just saying. It's just a difference. You know what I'm saying? But we live in it, like you said, you said it in the beginning of the show. We live in this shit where why you think niggas won't help girls pick up bags and all that shit? Because we live in this era where you think you masculine more than a man. I, I don't think I don't think no, like one nothing. night stands and when it comes you to that. I'm submissive. Hold up. I don't so I'm, I'm a little yeah. old school. I'm submissive, but my thing is you gotta show me that. Like you gotta open my door. You gotta do certain things for me. Yeah. So it it's a little different. I feel like right. nowadays men they, they don't know how to open the doors. They not buy you no know, drinks. They don't know how to court you. So it's just like because the niggas gotta earn that pussy. <laughs> definitely. Oh yeah, oh, absolutely. But definitely. again, but I think there is a point in your life when you are sometimes. Like, I've gone through some shit. I was like, you know what? I don't care. I just want to have fun. Like, I don't care what it yeah, is. Yeah, we live that life, too. Right. College. So, like, <laughs> co- college, exactly. after college. Y'all still be living no. that life now. Yeah. No, no, I still. But now, nah, but now. Nah, nah. I'm you, not you, at the you, point you where I'd be like having the one that's done. I'm on a shelf. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. That boy, I don't do nothing. That boy, I'm, I'm going to go home. Listen, listen. I have fun with my fiance. We, we travel, all that. I got flewed out last year. Shit, I feel right. like a real city girl. He said I flewed out. Yeah. My fiance flew me out. There you Went go. Went to Loom. Yeah. Shit, I felt good. I don't need, I you know what I'm saying? Like so, like, and I know, like, we 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 becoming a team. Right. Man, it's bogus, man. Listen, like I just said, dating fucked up, especially in Atlanta, bro. So when does a man get to the mentality? He's like, you know what? I ain't finna keep playing. I'm about to. When he meet a show. real woman. Not just that though, but you gotta remember. You can meet a real woman and still not be ready. Nah, but the thing but, is, the thing like is said, hold on, let me tell you but, something. So I'm going to give you something with that, too. So you a, a, a man, a man. I can't even credit call him a man, because you'll meet a real woman, and you ain't all the way a real man, man yourself. Because yeah. mm-hmm. when anybody who meets a real woman, that shit changes. I don't give a fuck right. who you are. Mm-hmm. You right. deal with a real fucking woman, your shit changes, bro. Right. If you get something and you doing if you ain't ready to be that, you ain't ready, ready for this woman. Niggas lose right. real women because they ain't ready for it yet. What is a you real woman? Like, what is what is that? I can't I give you that. It's, it's all I mean, it's it's different. It's like, it's like I said, yeah. exactly. like I said, it's gonna be different. My real woman, gonna, my woman gonna be my real woman gonna be different from his real woman. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so I can't everybody care about yeah. what I'm saying. Like, like yo, like your ideal man would be different from my ideal man because y'all different. We different. But there's certain things like what is it for you that like makes a woman? I ain't gonna lie. Honesty, loyalty, respect. Mm-hmm. What is it? Honesty, loyalty, respect. If right. you can live off them three things with me, you a real woman. Right. Honesty, loyalty. But how long loyalty, does it take you to it get was, to It don't take long because you got honesty, loyalty, and respect. That shit come from the gate. Right. Because so you're not lying you to me ch- about nothing. You fuck with what you fuck with. Either you fuck with me or you don't. And you respect to me. So it's like, yo, it's, uh, it's, you, you, it's them three things can go either far or they oh, don't go mm-hmm. nowhere. Because it's like, yo, if you fuck with me, honesty is like whatever you're dealing with, either I can hold it and I can deal with that. Or I can't. 
Mm-hmm. It's like you letting me know. Don't sit and spin like a nigga and do all that. That shit is bullshit. Right. And then your loyalty is like, yo, if you fuck with somebody, if you in the stage or your whole, how that women say, yo, it's a whole phase or whatever. That's it. Ain't even really no whole phase because you're right. a woman. You gotta go and experience. I feel like women need to experience, man. You need to experience different type of nigga to understand what you're really ready for. You're talking to I get that. I don't think a lot of men understand it. Yeah, but a lot of niggas ain't. But then that's what comes to what I said. But that comes to that comes to when you said. It comes to mm-hmm. what a man, <laughs> a man, and respect then what yeah. you want. So a lot of niggas be feeling like, oh, I'm of age and this is what I'm on. A lot of niggas get caught into being mm-hmm. like, oh, this is what we need as a man. I'm supposed to, she ain't supposed to do this. You bogus as hell. Like, bro, you dealing with, I don't give a fuck. Women going to live. You don't know this woman for what, what goes, what. If it's a vibe or what you got and you got all that you, if you have all that you what expect in a woman, I don't give a fuck of her past. If she's giving you everything that you wanted in a woman, but you're mm-hmm. listening to everything or what everybody dictating on what you consider a woman, you boy, right. you're going to lose on your right. blessing, gang. I think a lot of men do that these days, though. They like, this a is a homeboy. A lot of niggas ain't men. A lot of question. niggas ain't men, yeah. bro. As a woman, what makes you feel comfortable with the nigga that you with? What makes you feel like this is a nigga that I will Honestly, I ended up in a situation. It's, it's weird. I ended up in a situation, but honestly, it was... We used to pray with each other. That was a major thing for me. Right. Like, he helped he me pray you. more. See? You Jail know what I'm saying? Jail niggas good. He helped me pray more. He, all he was shit. attentive. Pray with you me know, too, was... baby. Pray. Shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. Pray, baby. Shit. I pray. Shit. I didn't go and no, do shit No, but that's a major thing. Yeah, that you got to think, though. A lot of people don't pray. That's real shit. That's real shit. Like, right now, I would pray with y'all and don't... Anybody in here, it doesn't matter. I used to be kind of proud of it. You know what I'm saying? So, if that was something that... That really touched me. Right, that was right. major to me. Yeah. And then it was like he was very attentive and like stuff I was going through, he was like very mm-hmm. concerned. Mm-hmm. But shut up, Nate. I'm gonna tell you like, <laughs> I'm you know what I'm saying? saying? But that's why. And I actually this, enjoyed but... him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I really I enjoyed him. Conversation of I would say jail talk, into. yeah. Right. But I was into him, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I hey, his hey, conversation, hey, he wanted something different out of life. Right. So yeah. I'm I'm that person. I made it happen. And it's just like we just on two different two different I feel you. Planets right now. But so okay, question now to you guys. So you meet the girl or the woman that you really love. Mm-hmm. How long is it going to... What if she's going to say, I'm not going to have sex with you for the first, like, two months? Are you going to be okay with it? Yeah, yeah niggas, I've been there before. I ain't spent enough, but I don't win. Most but you going to be talking just time. to her, or are you going to be, like, yeah, still talking to somebody else? Town? First of all, what it is depends dating? on what, what is, Are we dating like, or are we in a relationship? You, you met the woman that is a real woman that... You like you, you were really hitting off. You really like her. So <laughs> what is it? And she's she's just saying, look, look, hey, I'm just not comfortable. Let me tell you something. Can't you out of man clothes. Yo, listen. Yeah, you you'll never get into yeah. a real man yeah. mind because even if he did do shit and he really feeling you, yeah. you can't never judge him a fault. No, no, no. I'm not before. saying that. Like, yeah. So yeah. if he fucked thirty bitches before he really fucked you, you can't even be mad. <laughs> it's at not him. about before. Right now, right, you so. met a woman and mm. then you were just like, all right, she she's might be everything. She's the one. But she's she's just saying, she's just saying, hey, ninety days. I am just, I just need some time before I. Can open up yeah, to you sexually. So, look, so you got a man who will be fucked with you, be like, yo, you know what? I really like this woman. Mm-hmm. So you know what? I'm fucking with you. I'm gonna get them that it could be a one night stand or a blitz, something, mm-hmm. boom, two or three. I ain't even give you the whole super saiyan mode. Mm-hmm. I ain't giving you the real. So now damn, she I really like this woman. So when she give it to me, I'm giving her anything. And I'm applying this pressure for this. You can't be worried about anything else. Cause y'all dating. What is but are you worried about everything else if it's by, if no, it's flipped no, around? That's, if it's flipped around. See, first of all, 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 see, that's what we keep trying to do. We keep trying to. That's the thing. You can't do that because one thing about a man. Because you ain't about to flip it around. You're not about to go about fuck with four or five and you fuck with me. Okay. I might go fuck with just one person. Right. It's so going to hurt you. Yeah, but if there's one person next to you. If there's one person nailing you to the hey, floor, you, you love man? Tyrone. Tyrone yeah. is fucking you out. Can I tell hey, you something? Can I tell you something, though? Can I tell you something about yeah. men, though? Y'all can't Go take ahead. it. What men don't know won't hurt them. So That's if a nigga, if a, a lot of times, a nigga... And I just seen the a, lot of times, a lot of times, Ooh. niggas ain't looking for shit. Yeah. What, first of all, you gotta remember when you with a woman and y'all fucking around, she go to your phone. She might. Be I ain't, I'm not checking your phone. I'm not, not touching your phone. I'm not touching. I'm not touching your phone. My mama taught me that a long time ago. I don't touch your stuff. You don't touch my stuff. I don't damage your stuff. Have you ever been through a phone before? Never in my life. Yeah, I have. Time out. Some, 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 some told me, said, it said, CC, look through the phone. And I looked, and, and I saw look, everything. Hey, that was one time, one time. I ain't never been through a phone ever in my life. Never. I ain't never been in my, no girl purse that I fuck never. with. None of that, because I ain't looking for that. Now, if it come to me, like, you and this nigga fucking around, and a nigga want to pull up on me and like, hey, big shit, 
I'm in love I think with that's some hoe. I think that's some hoe shit. I'm gonna whoop your ass. I think that's some hoe shit. That's some hoe shit. That's some hoe shit. And don't or. call no girl up and be like, hey, tell her we ain't fuck with each other. I ain't. T- I, I, nah. I'm telling her, sweetheart, I don't know you, but I ain't tell a nigga to call you. Don't do that. Like I think that's hoe so shit. So I'm gonna say it. So a lot of times, like men, like me and my cousin, were just having a conversation. He's like, yeah, my homegirl did it. But like at the end of the day, like a lot of niggas probably won't never like a nigga that's just chilling. Like he really love this girl. Man, I ain't going. I'm not going to look for no shit. So if she doing some shit, that she got to come to the door. That she either got to be somebody run down That's on me like, hey, boy, like it, shorty in them over here, your old girl over here with this nigga. And he put her on FaceTime and I got to see it. And then he a lame for that too. Because nigga, why you even in my business? Or nine times out of ten, nigga walk up to me because she done told him, hey, look, I got to leave you alone. I got a couple of years, a couple, and we, we we in good standing, so it's done. Then he got to run down on me like, hey, bitch, shit, I'm fucking with your shorty. I'm going to whoop him because he could have kept that. He could have <laughs> kept it solid. I'm going to punish him. Cause he could have been a real nigga, you know what I'm saying? But like at the end of the day, nah, like I said, what if you walk into a place and then it's like two women that you've been dealing with? That you've been dealing with yeah. two women? Or like, yeah, you, you gotta talk. be a player. Play. You better hop, ah, ra- better yeah. hop right in that room. Yeah. What's y'all you, better hop, you better hop right in that room. Yeah. Hey, Karen, what's I'm up, baby girl? What's up, Ashley? What's up? What's up, drinking, man? We're not drinking, man. What's up, drinking, man? Hop across that road. Hop across that road. What's y'all, though? Hit me up. Hit me up. Hit me up. Don't fuck with me, though. I got the show. If that happens, to me, I just walk out. I'm like, I'm not dealing with that. Oh, oh, no, I ain't gonna let you know. I ain't going. I ain't gonna let you know. I'm in the spot. Yeah, I'm player. I'm hey, player. I gotta play about it. I'm a I gotta keep it P all the way. You got to push it. He said, You ain't no player. Read my lips. So I gotta ask you, man, what's your motivation, CC? What keeps you motivated, man? What keeps you going? Uh, what keeps me going? Honestly, um, my family. Your family? My family, yeah. My family. That's hard. That's mm-hmm. hard. What about you? What keeps you going? What's your motivation? It's definitely my mom, my mm-hmm. family, and my dogs. Oh, your dogs. What's their names, dogs. man? They're Luffy. People that got pets, they love their pets, man. What's Luffy pet, and man? Tuna, my little <laughs> tuna. <laughs> tuna. Yeah, no, they're my, like, they're my everything. So I'm just a big dog lover. So for me, and, like, to be honest, without my dogs, I don't think I would be where I'm at now. Right. That's hard. So, yeah. Um, like, and I gotta ask y'all this yeah. too, cause you know when we do this shit air, it's gonna be the new year. Y'all know that new year. What you know? What's some 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 new shit you feel like you want to go into 20, like twenty three with? Fuck nigga free. Oh no, ah. don't do that. Ah, oh, don't do that. But no, seriously, I just wanna. Um, I feel like 2022, 2021 was quite. Single? No, I just niggas. Cause you been fucked, nigga. You been talking a yeah, lot I, of shit about this nigga. I just nigga gonna kill one of us. Hey, what me, dog? Like, hey, what <laughs> we you at? Let me look at. Jail niggas love they joint. Oh, she might be single, but I she's can't. not available. Ah! Right, see, Say it friend. again. <laughs> she says she's single. I don't she know how to really battle. answer that, though, honestly, because I feel like the last single, year we kind of... Single, not available. Yeah, like... Respect. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're you a nigga, west side. You're all the way there. You're a west side. I don't even know. Oh, you got life fucked up, You think he going there? What's the bet? He definitely gonna pull up to the house. Like, I see you with that like, nigga. Fucked up, man. <laughs> I, I see you with that nigga. I see you with that nigga, man. Slip, <laughs> man. It's on sight, man. It's like on you fight. said, you know it is. I, don't I know. just know I got homies that have been in jail, all that shit. I don't That's why I said, see, man, with me, see, nigga be looking at me and Rich, man. Me and Rich know a lot of shit. We've been a lot of places, man. But this is what I'm telling you. I know men. It doesn't hurt you until you see your joint with somebody else. <laughs> I can believe that. You got life I fucked up. That. You think you single. That. Oh boy, that. believe that. Believe I can believe that. Cause I got brothers and I one of my believe brothers that. he was like, it's on site. Like I ain't no I I get it. Word but about for mama, me, son. I feel you like You gotta remember some niggas I ain't been with my baby mom for years, man. Don't play with me, man. <laughs> what? The baby mama, you yeah, ain't with her? Word my mama. We ain't but it's like it's certain, certain shit. shit. It's, it's certain, certain shit. shit. If you out you doing okay oh my respect, God, y'all but men are so certain type of levels of shit. Up don't for play real. with me. Y'all screwed up for real. Don't play with me. I ain't got no ties. It's just like yo. I said, I did y'all pull up on me though. Cause I ain't looking for it, so yeah, a nigga gotta pull up on me. Like I ain't going through her phone. That, my, my girl, no, I don't even get the keys. Out. Her, my keys can be in her purse. She got to get the whole purse. So I ain't looking for it. So if a nigga pull up, and oh, I yeah. like, if it comes to the, the light, oh man, I'm going, I'm crashing out. That's gonna make me crash out. That is no, one of my niggas fucking my junk. That'll make me crash out. Mm. For real, yeah, like a nigga that I know, like somebody that's been like, it's been around. That's mm-hmm. been around. He on the outside. He know. He know. Like, 
Yeah, boy, I can't. I'm like, you can't even fuck my joint when I'm dead and gone. I'm coming back out the grave. Like, <laughs> nah, I nah, ain't no, ain't no you holding the house down for me. Yeah, you gotta Man, be careful. I'm coming back to get you, my boy. I'm breaking yeah, it up. Like, the way you've been praying on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. hey, I don't you've been waiting on nigga to die. I don't get that, bro. It's no, a PSA principle. for 2023, bro. Listen, yeah, bro. That's principle. If, yo, if one of your niggas got a joint and he got a baby with her and all that, she should be all, all the limits. way off all limits, limits, bro. All I don't limits. give a fuck if you looking out for the kids. Like my boy Tony Yayo said, drop the check off at the door. Don't, don't go in the house. Check none check, of that, bro. Mm-hmm. Niggas, niggas, niggas use all the excuses. Well, we've been friends since. Nah, nigga, don't friend my shit. <laughs> Fuck that, nigga. Go let her, get her, let her get another nigga. Nah, word up. Like, word. Nah, go get another nigga, shit, bro. Man. For real. Don't do me like that, bro. I mean, you've been waiting for me in the wind. Yeah, like, been waiting on you to I die. finally got her. Right. This nigga about to go do a light bed or he about to die. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Nah, man. It's like you been praying on my dime for both of y'all been doing this shit. I'm fuck both of y'all up. I'm coming back. <laughs> so both of for y'all. Real. Both of y'all in some bullshit. But I ain't gonna lie, man. My motivation, man, is my, it's been my family, man, and my business. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? To see that shit prosper. You know what I'm saying? Just to, you know what I'm saying? Just to make it, man, just to keep making it through another year, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We, this year, 2022, we lost a lot of good motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. A lot of people died. Mm-hmm. And you go back and look at that shit, and they're going to put that thing up. Like, damn, he died, he died. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, just to keep making it and keep striving, man. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, to, like, always do this and get the vibe. Like, this is a dope-ass vibe. Mm-hmm. We had fun tonight. We laughed. We kicked it. You know what I'm saying? We met somebody. I met somebody from Russia tonight. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about nobody else. I'm happy, nigga. This yeah, shit. My shit going. We going. We going across seas now. Yeah. Somebody yeah. in Russia going to watch you on Fat Nasty Podcast. I don't give a fuck what he's talking about. Oh, all of the. <laughs> see, that's the thing. Like, that's why I don't really post anything personal on my Instagram right, look, because people they or probably gonna be they, like, you know, they be watching. There's a lot of conversations that are going. Like, I don't live there. I don't know people. People be calling my brother, and they're like, "Oh, they saw you on Instagram. You were with this." And I'm like, "How? I don't. I've never heard of this people before. They're like all across the world from me." <laughs> right, right, right. And it's that's, just that's dope. Though. You're not dope. Yeah, that is. it is dope, dope but it's, it's, the, dope. it's hard, but you know what hurts when people who called you ugly in high school now mm. are like, "Oh my God, you're so beautiful. Well, you're so like, this. You're you so." Be dusty, I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. You didn't mean as hell to me." That's normal nowadays. That's a normal. That's crazy. That's crazy. What about you, my boy? What's your motivation? Motivation is overall. This shit right here, like, mm-hmm. just to feel like I told you, like, your CZ brought me in a space that that Oprah shit really took me to the roof. Like, right. for Oprah to be considered in the same conversation, I know where we at. You know what I'm saying? And like this whole shit, mm-hmm. and knowing what we did, and we just stand down, me and you for this three we're years. Going to, yeah, we're going on three years, y'all. This fire. So it'll be, like, be our anniversary in a couple. Yeah. So couple it's months, like so. this, what this, was this the same shit. Name? Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm so like, damn, man, we did that. Yeah, we had the party. Yeah, the wall was painted, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we went from the track, we went from the spot off of just a a thought and a belief of what we wanted to do. Shout out to my nigga Winston. And to come come through and still be doing this shit, this shit fire, like, Mm -hmm. regardless of anything or what niggas do to come and people want to come and chill and we have genuine conversations. Like that. vibe like this, this is the most important thing to me. Like, yo, this shit, feel, it feel, it bring a nigga, if a nigga on a two, this will put a nigga out of 10. Right. Regardless mm-hmm. if it's for this day, I still felt good. Mm-hmm. I don't that's give good. a fuck, that's you know what I'm saying? So, you know, even if it's one say, person, you yeah, know, that's that's what, what, somebody exactly, that's going through something exactly, worse. Yeah, Man, worse. I, 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 I live that motto. I try to say that to myself. I live that motto all the time, I swear, bro, because like, Bro, man, we sit here, man, somebody just lost a kid. That's probably like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right this, man, look, like, this be the time that me and my family, we be in, we be in Buffalo for the holiday. Buffalo just had, like, mm-hmm. 10 foot crazy, of snow. Crazy, crazy. You know, we from right there. Yeah. We from right there. From that. So right. We, from that. So, shit. like, holidays and shit, we go, I, we, go to, we go to New York. We go to New York and kick it. Yo, man, my family could have been in New York this year. We could have been stuck, you know? Like, I was so, the so crazy. Good. I was supposed to do my Christmas in New York this right. year. I See, I did Thanksgiving, but we used to Thanksgiving and yeah. Christmas. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to you know do it, but we didn't so go. Like, it was like, it happened for a reason. So, like That's I said, like, I count every blessing from the smallest to the biggest, man. So, people better start doing that. Niggas Tonight be like, oh. was crazy, though. I love yeah. this episode. It was definitely a vibe. Definitely a night. A vibe. And we got dope say, people. I he's not a fuck nigga. Let me just say that. Yeah, no, we I know that because he's going to watch you. He's going to be on your heels. When you put yourself off as no fuck nigga. We had some good times. We had some good times. But you know, relationships. I bet he a real nigga. He just, I know he a real nigga. Bro, I just, bro, all jail niggas I know, they be real niggas. They go through so much. They go through. You gotta remember this 15 years. Right. He always give you a little rundown. Tough. This is a real this had to be 15 years on the on the tough shit. 
can't be vulnerable, can't show nobody that you really love them. Then when he get on the phone and call somebody when you need them, do something for him. It's like, all right, I got you. And they spin the block on him, don't do it. You got to remember, like, niggas go through all that shit. Now you in the opening and you think, yo, so many niggas that you don't talk to on the phone. That's it. I know you got niggas that's up, niggas that's living life, all that. Yeah, he course. think he supposed to come home like paid in full. Niggas supposed to Mitch him, give him two fifty, and a two brand new whips in the car in the house, and he come home and niggas on some. That ain't his situation, but he good. You no, know I'm just saying though, it's just all niggas think that mm-hmm. niggas be living on. We live in the social media ass world, so niggas think, oh boy, I did a bid for a nigga, so I'm about to come home. He gonna put me. Hell no, nah, homie, hit your ass with the two two and keep it going. <laughs> he ain't even looking out for little junior. <laughs> He ain't even looking out work. He ain't, he ain't taking no drink or no Christmas gift for the last 15 years. <laughs> nigga be forgetting about that. Nigga, I'm talking about, like, nigga, I done been there. I done, been, like, looked out for one of my niggas and all that shit and came home, nigga, like, yeah, nigga, fuck you. So it be like that. Mm. So it be different shit, you know what I'm saying? So. so it's like. I mean, people are still recovering from COVID, you know? It's like the 2020 just fucked everyone up. Right. We, I put so, out, when they said, that put out country work. Years, that put us two years behind? Yeah. They said, we two years behind. Exactly. COVID, that, so, and Trump. Man. Yeah, bring yeah, my boy it, Trump. It, it, it's been a lot back of us. Oh, what? Trump got so much money. Man, bro, COVID back and Trump. Trump back. I don't give a fuck. Right. Right. He said bring COVID back. But you know what's so crazy? I was doing so much traveling and I never caught COVID. Maybe. I never. That's what I felt I like, yo. I never caught it. That I'm on shit a plane, was fake, fake, fake. <laughs> well, I said, but I ain't gonna lie, though, because my cousins had it, so I do it was real. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, like, in the world that we live in, Somebody, it gotta hit somebody that you know. You be like, damn, I think you got that shit. Oh, like, for real, my like, brother had it, but he's still in the blaze. Like, he like, you know me, blaze. Like, I, I, I can't take this nigga serious. So I just don't know. Like, Cause I ain't gonna lie, it hit different people different ways. Right. Yeah. You know right. What I'm saying? But never. Ever have I heard from the government say, hey, you need to eat healthy, you need to work out, you need to take care of yourself. never give you that. It's never been. No, they say that. Go get the COVID shot, Yeah, go get the vaccines, put the masks on. Like, that's what I was like, I'm done. If you do it, if they tell you that we all do it, eliminate them. We don't need the government no more. We don't need no doctors. We don't need no nobody. Like, this shit, we all good. And once they, this shit is all a game. It's like once we all brought up under a schedule and an agenda. So it's like if you fall victim to that and don't step out of the line, I ain't gonna lie. Schedule, agenda, forever. and TV. Yeah. TV be on some bullshit, Ooh, yeah. man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't going. I'm, I'm damn near want my kids to stop watching TV I'm and all saying, that shit. Yeah, it's, like forcing, it's like they forcing some issues. It's like they don't want the Honduras. black man to be in the house. It's so much. Well, you, you know, you just, uh, that's one thing I learned. It's like they don't want the men to be in the house at all. Not no, even the black man. You just can't watch like, the news. Do yeah. not watch the news because yeah, the news it's. been depressed since I was a kid. There's yeah. a TED talk that about shit, that. that. It's like different. they will see, they will look at the screen and they would see like, they would only talk know, about that little red thing that's there. They're not going to talk about the full picture. And that's right. the, that's what just messes with your brain and everything. Because negative is so much faster to catch on than positive. Right. That's why, that's why you can see somebody get killed, but you can't yeah. see somebody. Pass out food and shit on right, holidays. Right. You can see a nigga get dropped in broad daylight. They'll mm-hmm. show that shit to you, but they don't. Yeah. You know no what good. All the bad, no good. Right. Yeah, yeah, all the bad, no good. So, like, social media, you gotta curate your content. You gotta create what you're. You gotta understand what you're watching and right. who you're watching. Because some people are just. Some people are doing it for cloud, but some people are actually like. I unfollow some people. Honestly. Yeah, you unfollow some you of them and just. Got to. Or mute got them. To I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. yeah. Unfollow. But man, look, man, we had a dope ass night. What we let That's everybody right. do, we let everybody sign themselves off. So tell mm-hmm. them your IG where they can find you at. And if you got girls that, <laughs> look, go ahead, you go uh, first. All right, right. you can find me on IG as Lessy. It's L E S Y Y Y. Business, all that. Tell them you do everything. Yeah, well, just hit me up on IG. We can go from her. Heard you. Yeah, heard <laughs> you. Just heard you. talk about yeah. it. And I like her because she dealt with her mental health too. That's dope. That's dope. So uh, tap in. I have a therapist, so three years. There's nothing wrong with getting a therapist. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is like, it's, it's amazing. It's the best. I actually, you know what? Dating wise, it's a turn on. If a man is seeing a therapist, I'm like, oh my God, we can get along. Oh, okay, that's dope. So, so look, niggas about to be in your DM. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, I, got I, got I got a therapist. I got a therapist. Hey, honey. I got a meeting every Wednesday at 4 o'clock. You got your letter, nigga, with a book. What did you discuss today? I'm talking about, hey, Sean, that got me with a motherfucking therapist. I was like, bro, I had that. Yeah. But you ain't seen me over here by the way. I have my thing cap on and all that shit. I told them folk my real life, but hey, you feel me? All the shit I've been through. You feel me, buddy? Ups and down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. So fuck with me one time, shawty. Right. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, CC, man. Sign yourself out, man. Okay, you guys. I'm signing off. It's your girl, CC. Follow me on Instagram at she, CC the plug. Okay. She is CC the plug. I'm sorry. 
I am please come back and see us. And I enjoyed myself tonight. I'm glad you guys had me. That's and right. my new little friend over here. Yeah. I gotta come back. I gotta come back. Oh, you definitely come, come back. And y'all, hey man, listen, man, y'all in Miami, tap in with my dog. Tap man. in and in Atlanta. Everybody's done. Let me too. New spot, rare beauty. It will be on um, Beaufort Highway. Please come and see us. Yeah, if y'all need That's it, right. definitely tap in. Tap mm-hmm. in. That's yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, man, this was dope year, man. The uh-huh. year we end, we wrapping up 2022 to uh-huh. 20, Happy 23. New year. Happy New Year. It's the last oh, Friday of the year. So uh, happy New Year, y'all. You know what I'm happy saying? R.I.P. to the people we happy lost in 2022. We the biggest and we the fucking Y'all best, get ready bro. for Uncle Murder wrap up. It's going to be lit. Ooh. Yeah, he going to give you the story. Jay ho bro. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy. So well, y'all already know, man. It's Fat Nasty Podcast, man. One half of the Belly Game Boys. Let me put my belly on your butt, you heard? Yeah, we signing <laughs> out, y'all. Ah, uh, ah. Uh.